Fast you look so strong Then you fight away The sun will blind my eyes I love you anyway Thirsty for your smile I want you far away You are a vapor trail In a deep blue sky Sleeping on a 
Well, that's, you know, you're probably getting ripped off a little bit, but I can't afford the four ninety five exactly. for the full bottle. For the full thing. But I can afford the 29 for, mm-hmm. you know, and last me a couple months. And then also, what if I buy it and I don't like it? Like, that's I bought John scary. one time the Creed Adventus in the little bottle, and he was like, yeah, I don't love it. What if I'd have paid fucking right. $700 right. for that? You know right. what I mean? But now it's only 19 bucks. Like, whatever. I'll fucking give it to me. i put it in my car. Yeah. I think that's what I brought up here and put on you was shit that he was like, yeah, I don't love it. Well, that's okay now. Yeah. And I got no. I it doesn't. Even, the network doesn't even show up. I can get it to show up for half a second on my laptop, but he was out here working on it yesterday. I, I got. I gotta ask him. There's gotta be a way to fix the internet. You gonna email him or you gonna? Email him? I'll just ask him again.
Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Got it. What the hell? What the hell? Going <laughs> what? What the I'm hell? Going. What was that? <laughs> Do you know? No. No idea. I wouldn't have known it, but she rang it. Yeah. And then... So you noticed. Yeah, I noticed. I was like, what? Because usually it's just, at this time, it's just a mailman. But then uh, I noticed that gear didn't come out at all. Yeah. Just like Okay, one, ready to get like started? I mean, he was up because he took Chacho to the pool. So. Salesman comes to the door. <laughs> yeah, I guess the same thing. He's like, whatever, I'm not going. I'm ready whenever you are. Yo! Yo! How's everybody doing, huh? Hey, how are you? I'm good, man. Tapped good. out early this morning. What? Yeah, I was just tapping out. You tapped out early? Yeah, this morning. Why? Eh, nothing else to do. Uh, what What is your normal weekday morning like? Do you have to take the boys to school or do they ride the bus? Oh, There's, we're in summer vacation, baby. Oh, well, right. It's summertime now. So, yeah, so. Uh, I have to, every morning, I wake up and... At about 6.30 and take Chacho to football practice or weights. Okay. I, so then I, I go back home, somewhere. have a cup of coffee, and then I got to pick him up from that. Okay. So there's like, you know, whatever. There's no real difference between having school every day. Right. Well, no, not if you have to do that. I, well, mean, I think he's off now. I, you told me, man, I was kind of bummed. He, he's like, I think this was our last practice, our last football practice until – Real football starts. This was like OTAs. Yeah, I thought that, optional. Th there is football practice in August, right? Like before yeah, so school I think they starts. Pick, pick it back up in August now. Okay. There's like maybe like a, he said like maybe three days of a camp and then that's it. And then this weekend is his last baseball tournament. Oh damn. Yeah, I'm like, oh no, what are we gonna do? So wait, he's going into what grade? Eighth. And there is no, there's no team at that school. There is now. There he'll is the now first it's starting it. Okay, so he'll uh, he gets to play on it. Yeah, he'll be the first uh, one. Okay, okay, so that's who he's practicing with yep. is for this team, and then in August they'll do like what they did when we were in school. They'll st I'm get I don't know if they yeah. still do two a days. Yeah, I don't know stuff. if they'll do that or not, but whatever. But they'll start practicing again in August, yeah. and then they'll play. I assume the same time that the high school kids play, like the, yeah, in the fall, right? Yeah. I don't know how many games they played. We it, I'm a little bummed about that. It's new, so I get it. It's you know. The middle school Shawnee Mission League that hadn't done it before. Mm -hmm. So they're only playing six games. I want, well, that's what I was going to ask. I was thinking maybe there were fewer games when I was in junior high. Maybe not. I, I, I don't know. Think, you know, for me, like, you know, whatever. I know for the kids, too. But I get it. It's also their first year doing it. So there's going to be a lot of, so just playing all the other Shawnee Mission schools and then they're done. But man, you ask a kid to start working out in yeah, no May. Kidding. Yeah. For six games, yeah, that's true. Like it's, and you don't want to go too many because then they could get hurt. It's too long, but it's like six seems too little. Yeah, I guess they're Ten's really getting probably you... too much. You know what I mean? But that sweet spot in there of eight or nine, probably. You're practicing right. to do the practicing in high school, <laughs> right? Yeah. Get used to this because in high right. school you'll be practicing all the time. Because then you're like, man, I've been working since May for six weeks. And six weeks is the payoff. How cool. do, how do they do the teams? Do you know yet? I don't know. I don't like know if it's idea. varsity, junior varsity. Our our school I had an think, A, B, and I, I think in the middle C school they're going to call it varsity and junior varsity. Okay, I think ours were letters in junior high. But and, again, this is their first year, so I don't know. And I think that, I don't even know if seventh graders are playing. To be honest, I, they aren't. They're not. No, because they asked me to coach the seventh grade team, and it's not ready. Uh, or oh. well, no, I just think it's the first year, so they're just doing eighth grade football only. Okay, yeah, yeah maybe yeah. as the years go on, they'll add a seventh and an eighth grade. But okay. right now. Okay. I, I I was surprised when you told me that they didn't. I just thought junior highs had football teams. I thought that was a thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that they necessarily played as many teams as the high school teams right. did. I thought they did kind of play, uh, you know, uh, right. closer schools or right, whatever. Yeah. But I know that they had, when, in, when we were in junior high, it was you had two games at a time. You had the, the B team would play first. I think And then the A team would play after that. I think that's what they do. And so it was all the same I know they day. do that with basketball. I'm really just speculating. Yeah. They do it with basketball. They have like an A, B, and C team. Right. I remember, and my oldest played basketball. But you said your junior high didn't have football either? Mm -mm. That's, yeah. I we don't know. We played for like, I you know. I just thought that was the like thing. Like a city. Yeah. 
So who gets? How do they find the football coach of the junior high team? I mean, I'm guessing it's a high uh, uh, PE uh, coach. I know there's two, maybe one guy who teaches there, mm-hmm. and he played somewhere. Oh, so it's a teacher like in a high school. It is, and then the other three guys. I think the other three guys they coached in the seventh grade with me. Okay, so right. that, that's who your son's been working with? The same that, people that he played with. For right. practice and yeah, everything? that he played with. So with you, you know all these people. You've yeah, met yeah, them. yeah, for sure. And you like them? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's good coaches, smart guys. He, he He's a football I just keep telling him, don't fanatic. screw up that defense eye. <laughs> well, <laughs> everything you good. worked on. Everything yeah. worked what on you all those years. doing over there? How many years did he play? Oh, three years. He's already played three years? Yeah, I think so. And, and what, does that he include flag, flag No, he played okay. flag football since three, he was little. Three years of tackle. And yeah, then maybe two years of tackle, flat. something like oh, that. Okay. Two years of tackle. This will be his third year, I think. Okay. Because yeah, he's all in. Like He wants, he to, he wants to play football in high school. He yeah, wants football to, and baseball. He's, and if you ask him, like, what's your favorite, he'll be like, mm, boy, I don't know. But, yeah, and if he gets, like, once he gets into high school and he has to make that choice, I don't, I don't know if he'd have to make it. You won't? You won't? Mm-mm. You mean because they'll decide, they'll know No, because what he's just good different at? seasons. Okay, so he could do both? Yeah, he'll do both. God. I know he'll do both. God, man. I, I mean, I don't know what baseball practice is like. I, like we've baseball talked about practice this. is more fun. I don't remember having a baseball team. I guess we did, but no one ever talked about it. I never saw people in. I saw the softball team. The girls would wear their uniforms on Fridays or whatever day of oh, the week yeah. it was. But I do not remember the guys playing baseball. I don't well, know where I they up, play. Like, and I guess it's still the same, but, like, you know, high school baseball is just, like, kind of. Nothing, right? It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Right. I played. No it's one weird because about it. I got up to, like, being 17, 18, we played, which they don't have anymore, American Legion baseball. Yeah. You played for, like, your local VFW post. Yeah, you and I were talking about that. And then they you got sponsors, so, so they paid, like, you know, played, like, you know, I don't know, Little Caesars and CompuWare and whatever. I've heard people complaining about the the lack of leagues like that. They yeah. used to exist in the 70s, 60s, 70s, and, they were, and 80s. You, know, and you had to go try out away. for them and everything, but you didn't have to pay all this money. Right. It's ridiculous. Which, I mean, I see it. Club baseball, man, it's it, it's a racket. A racket. Well, that's the thing that I hear about. I mean, <clears throat> I know about it through you. Right, what you tell me about it, but then of course I see it uh, oh, in the news. They talk about it because it, yeah. you got no black guys uh, coming into the major well, leagues. It's, it's, right, uh, baseball. Yeah. And it's you know? expensive to play this club baseball, and yeah, and they're trying you know. to figure out ways to diversify pro baseball. And they, they're, you know, it seems like they're they're working on these other things. But one of the things that they really need to work on is just like every sport, it, you, you need to have little leagues. And you need to have yeah. the ability to play those little leagues without paying a bunch of money to play yeah. those little leagues. I mean, my little league, I know it costs some sort of I money, but if like we if didn't I have the money, it wouldn't dad, have mattered. Like, I want to go play for this team, and it's going to be $3,000. My dad had been like, what? Of course. We're, right. No. Right. No. And mo- most no. parents have to say no. no. Right. Yeah. And whereas with the Parks and Rec leagues and the little leagues, yeah, it, it was it, And then was when I played, like, even front, like American feet. Legion Baseball, like that was like the, you know, that was like the club, bit, the, you know, the big, you know, you had to travel. It was hard. Right. Uh, you know, they gave us the uniforms for free. They, you know, we got sponsored by somebody. It was, we didn't pay anybody, you know. Yep. I'm sure they paid coaches because the coaches weren't dads. They were ex-baseball. I think ours was actually a, meant played baseball in high school, but he was really more of a hockey guy. But okay. way, either way, he was an athlete and knew what he was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember him. I, my favorite sport was roller hockey. We mm-hmm. didn't play ice hockey, but we did have, and we had little leagues. We had Little yeah. League Rocky, and the thing is, not only do we have Little Leagues, but if you were good at it and you liked it, then what you wanted to do was go play for All-American, which I was looking up the other day to see if it still exists, and it looks like it's in St. Louis. I'm not sure if it's here or not. But that was a big deal with my friends. Like, hey, we're going to go play yeah. for All-American. we got to get new rollerblades. we got to get new equipment because this is the big time. You know what I mean? Right. And this is going to cost. And when I, I – you know, we thought it was expensive because yeah. it costs like oh, $150 yeah, right, yeah, or something right. like that because those, those Parks and Rec Leagues were – Essentially, it, there might be a twenty dollar fee or whatever, but if you couldn't afford it, they weren't turning kids away. And it's so cr- like well, the stuff you have to talk to your kids about now, like just baseball. You know, what should just be little league? Like my oldest played for a team. It was called like the Blaze, which was a club baseball team, and then they moved to Home Field, which we all have heard, mm-hmm. right? So it was like Blaze at Home Field, and then they were like, "Well, no, we got bought by." 
building champions. Okay. And so my oldest was like, well, I don't want to play for building champions. So he went and played for another team and then switched to this other team that he's on now. And then, like, two weeks ago, we got an email that said, basically, we've been bought by building champions. So it's all like, I'm like, man, you're too young thing. to have to. You know, now you're just finding out that corporate America is just buying every Everything team. Right. Until it's one company. One com- yep. Right. Like, yep. you're already learning this at 16-year-old baseball that it doesn't. And so he's like, well, I don't want to play for them. Yeah. I want to go somewhere else. I'm like, all right, well, we can try it. And then my youngest, he didn't really want to play for him, but he's like, you know, dad. I guess he just kind of saw it for what the way it you really do, because he's like, "Well, Dad, well, you know, I could go play for somebody else, but they're just going to buy them." Yep, he already and knows. He like, yeah, really like, is learning a valuable right lesson. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, we could quit, and then what? I'll just have to play for them anyway." Right. So. It's like saying, "F this company, I'm <laughs> right. going across the street, and you guys right. can kiss my ass." And you, you know, not to do that because a week later, <laughs> right? It's the same company. <laughs> right, and, exactly. And that is, uh, that's a lesson within itself. Yep. But when I saw they did something about it, was specifically about, I think it was just baseball on the news. It might have been like a nightline or whatever. And when they were talking to parents about it, they said their their thing is is that when these coaches at the, what did you call it, competitive baseball yeah, or yeah. whatever, whatever the, the expensive it, yeah. stuff, that they worry about what the coaches are telling them. Like, are they telling us the truth? Yeah, no. So starting from a very young age, they say, your kid has tons of potential. And of they're course. like, we have now been told, like, at first we were like, great, our kid has tons of potential. But then we were told by other parents, hey, your kid might not have tons of potential. You need to, you know, yeah. look, research who it is that's telling you that, what yeah, this league is. What this and that it's gotten more and more like they don't know whether or not to trust the coaches who, right. who are telling them that their kids are good. Yeah. And, of course, for a kid, too, you know, they, they didn't even really touch on that. But I'm thinking, like, if I'm the child who's being told, you are effing awesome at this. Right. You know, I don't know what age I'm going to figure out maybe that they've been blowing smoke up my ass. I mean, look, they did that to me. This is Or silly, the opposite but... is true. Think of the opposite. Exactly. You are good, but for whatever reason, you don't get along with the coach. Coach yep. doesn't like you, whatever. And now, because you've put so much stock into what these people say, yeah. now you're like, oh, I'm not good enough. Yep. Why? Right. So I always tell my boys, I'm like, hey, listen to your coach. They know what they're doing. Just do it. But also remember something I've told you. That coach who's yelling at you right now, who played college baseball at Pitt State or Arkansas or whatever, right? Yeah. Every decision in baseball he made up until this point led him to the same field you're on. (laughs) That's right. That's (laughs) right. right. He is on the same field as you. (laughs) You're in the same place. You're in the same place. So... Listen to what he has to say. Do what he has to say, but also keep in the back of the mind: we're both here together, man. <laughs> That's right? right. I don't know how great you are. I tell him all the time: every decision that guy made led him, him to Emporia State this weekend, trying yep. to teach you guys to play against this team. Yep. So, well, luckily you have time. You know, you're able to go watch them play and you see their games and it's not just like you catch a few of them you see them play most of the time yeah, yeah. you even watch their practice for these parents who don't have time to go to the games and you know are leaving their their kids with these teams mm-hmm. they have to trust the report that they're yeah. getting from that coach if the coach is like hey your kid is extra special and maybe right. best on the team and so what he needs is extra batting lessons which will cost this much money the only thing that i think know. is still kind of kind of a drink mm-hmm. the only thing hey snow cone Will you do? Me, will you grab me a sugar-free Red Bull if I have one? I'll pay for it later, and a uh, Cliff Bar if they have it. Um, I gotta get this put in, but yeah, I can yeah, sure. That. Uh, no hurry, my man. Um, the only thing that I think is still kind of pure is high school football. I see they're trying to make oh, yeah. competitive leagues for football, and I had one of the teams call me about Chacho a couple years ago like you know he should come over here and play but eh, you know what I mean I still yeah. think it's high school football no I I think so. but I don't I mean, think anybody gives the, a rat's ass about high school pros. baseball high school soccer high school basketball like nobody gives a shit no and you can you can see it NFL isn't having problems finding diversity right. or players or any of that
Yeah, I got a text from uh, when we were on the air yesterday from Dan Lanning, and he said he was in town, took a picture of the listening to you guys right now. But it made me think of that, like, you know, hey, this fucking guy who's telling you you're no good at baseball, he's not him. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if that guy tells you, then fucking well, you're not. Yep. But it would be hard, too, as a parent, if I did have a coach saying, your kid's great, and then you have another coach who's not affiliated with the league saying, he's not that great. I would well, want to I'd wanna believe the other coach. I think about that often because my mom, I remember when I was a kid, my mom said that my piano teacher told her, kept telling her that I had a lot of potential. I didn't really know what potential meant at the time. I was pretty young. But I remember her saying that. And looking back, thinking about it, I'm like, that lady was lying to her so that I'd keep taking piano lessons. I didn't have any potential. It, wasn't, it didn't come easy to me. Well, there was a... Uh... <clears throat> so I know... For playing for building champions, it costs a few thousand dollars, right? Like we're Minimum. talking a year? Yeah. Whew. Um, And that's baseball. Yeah. And neither one of my boys have played for them, but I, I know it's, it's you know, two to three thousand dollars, something like that. Okay. They're all basically the same. What they, <clears throat> he has buddies that don't play competitive baseball. They're all football kids. Yeah. And they play baseball in the summer on a rec league, a real rec league. Okay. It's called three and two. They play a game a week. They practice. The dad's coach, right? Well, we went out there. uh, My oldest was playing a high school game in the same complex that his buddies were playing. Okay. So after they were done, we're like, let's go go over and watch your football guys play, right? And there's guys on that team who, like, the coach told him to bunt during a game, and he just held the bat out like this. Okay. The coach goes, what are you doing? He's like, I've never done that before. And another kid who plays first, he's like, hey, I need you to go over there and cover the bag at first. He's like, you got it, coach. What does that mean? (laughs) No idea what it means. So the the coach is telling other stuff. And they're, like, how old? 13. Okay. So we go over there, and they're playing one of these BC teams where these parents are paying... 2500 bucks for their kids to play. Well, these kids are just football kids, do not give a shit, and paid like 50 bucks each to play. Right. And that included uniforms. Right. And those football kids ran them like 17 to 6, like just fucking killed them. And I'm like, what do you do if you're paying that? Yeah, and I would think <clears throat> that those leagues that are, that are expensive would want to mm-hmm. avoid those types of yeah. competitions. We don't need any <laughs> attention on this. By the way, not to talk shit on the kid, he's a really good first baseman. <laughs> I saw him playing, but it was funny because the coach was like, man, he's really come along. I'm like, well, he looks good out there. He's like, yeah, first time I told him to go cover the bag at first, he said, what? <laughs> he thought he meant like, he's like, he literally thought. Go put a blanket I, over it? Like, you know, some sort of rain gear or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I don't know. What does that mean? <clears throat> That's crazy, right, Nerdlum? Yeah, that's the rec league where you go play. They have the J and three and two. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. I'm going to make some time up. We're really early again. Okay. 
Yo. Yo. What does that mean? We need to make time up. Means I think it means talk for a while, boys. Talk, talk for a while talk or talk less? While. Yeah, talk more. more. Yeah, he's giving us the the radio symbol for keep, keep it going. Funny. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. That's hard. Yeah, it is. Uh, coming up, though. Up. Cliff Bar? Well, that sounds good. I should ask for one of those two. Cliff Bars are good. They're really good. Um, coming up, mm -hmm. I thought we could uh, join in on this internet discussion about things that people say they're better than 80% of the population. What are you better than 80% of the population at? And I'm, we all have things. I just feel like those answers where you say, "Well, I'm, you know, I'm better at coming here and talking to you guys than eighty percent." You know, that's cheating. Whatever. Not and true. also probably not true. <laughs> so you know, it's, there's got to be something. But I'll give you a moment to think about that. But first, hmm. I did eighty percent. I'm better than eighty percent. That you're better than eighty percent. We've done this. It's it's kind of like that whole what's a secret skill of yours that's a, a useless skill. Maybe is how we phrased it. And mm -hmm. I said that I I'm good at catching things that I just started to drop. No, that's yeah, right. not quantifiable to 80%. No, it's not. That's what I'm saying. This is similar, but not the same thing. This is, what are you better than 80% of the population at? So I'll give you a minute. But first, I want to tell you about this. I don't know this, that I am. This also might... Uh, I'm trying to think. I really don't know that I am. Well, I'll give you a minute. I mean, not, you know, like remembering Smith's lyrics. But I, that's not a thing. Yeah, that's not sure, a thing. So sure. these, like, it could be. Li no, it's not. I looked at the list of things it can absolutely well, be. Well, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be because it's no, not as it's fun. It's not a thing. It's not as fun. And right. also, it's not a thing. Like, it's, that's not a thing. I get what you're saying. It's it's not a thing that anyone's trying to quantify. Right. And somebody else could do it. They just don't do it. Right. Yeah. Now, I mean, th th although you can't discount all those things. I mean, obviously, there are things that people could be better at if they did it, but... You know, I get what yeah, you're saying I with the lyrics, like and there's no or reason golf to do it. Or, yeah, yeah. You know, Sports acting or, or like, you something know. Something people, some some people would people like to do. be good at. A yeah. lot of people try, and you're better than 80% of them. Yeah. No one says, I, I want to like... be the best at remembering Smith's lyrics. Right. Very few, except maybe Morrissey. I'm better than 80% of, you know, people at pickleball. Like, that's just right. something. It's that's a thing. something. That is the thing. Exactly. Right. So think about it, but I got to tell you about the story because this might also jog your memory. Think about something that's happened in your past. And you may have seen this. How are we doing? We, we stretch this out long enough? You're doing great. He wants us to keep going. Mm -hmm. Anytime I talk about pickleball, you know we're, you know we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Did you see the story about the Vacuum guy? knowledge. The guy from New Jersey that flew to Florida mm -hmm. to attack a gamer. So he, these, mm -hmm. they're, they're playing video games online. They think that both of them what are. are they playing? Uh, they didn't say what game they were playing. Yeah. At least in the article that I had, they didn't say. They just said that they were... You they can got, leave that out. I know. As, as someone who, if you do play games at all, it would be nice to well, know. No, was what it, made you so mad? Right. Was like, it Call of Duty? Was it Fortnite? What, were you guys on the same team? Were you playing Madden, against each other? Or was it... Right. You know, right. Did you think the person was cheating? Did they just keep kicking your ass? Or was I, it some like, dumb game, right? Was, right, you know, right. Was it Roblox? Not yeah. that that's dumb, but why, who would fly with a kid's right. hand? Right, right. Like, it, I, it, I feel like it's important. I'd like to know. And maybe there is an article out there now that says, but my uh, ABC article does not tell me. But this New Jersey man, he's facing attempted murder charges. He tried to kill this guy because he decided to, he got so angry playing online that mm -hmm. he decided to get on an airplane, fly to Florida. So my thing is he had to figure out where yeah. this guy lived, right? Goes to his I mean, house. That keeps your anger a long time. Like I could see exactly. You haven't cooled down. I get to the point where I'm looking at plane flights. Yes, yes, me too. Exactly. So I'm, I'm like, I will, like, fly to I will do this. Kill you. I'm going to do this. And then after they're like, well, you know, I'm like, all right, settle uh, down. Is it cheaper mm -hmm. on Expedia? You know, I think I've lost interest. <laughs> right. It's plenty of time. And even if you make it to the part where way, you're driving like to the say, airport, when you think you're going to fly to kill someone that you've been arguing with online. Masturbate first. Yes, that could help. I always too. say that masturbate first. If you still want to kill them, then you know. All right. Yeah, but you'd still think that plane flight. You'd calm down. Enough. I'm just saying. I think after you masturbate, you'll be I like, oh, I, I don't want to kill anybody. I do too. I'm, but I'm just saying, even if you do still think you're gonna go, that's a long flight. Going to the airport alone and sitting at the airport like that to me is like I'm just losing doing losing interest in this. But not this guy. You probably this... just keep playing them. That way you're like, oh, this guy has no idea I'm coming to Florida. I'm going <laughs> that, that, to Maybe that's part of it. This guy's name's uh, Edward or Ed Kang, 20 years old. Edward and McCain? Ed Kang. K-A-N-G. Oh. Edward Kang. Old Eddie and Kang. He, uh, I guess what he did is he flies down there. He, when he gets there, apparently goes to get... Now, I think he may have brought with him some black uh, gloves and a mask. Oh, but apparently man. he went and got a hammer. On his way to this guy's house. with a hammer. Yeah, which I watch a lot of true crime, and Brooke and I always say, like, oh, the hammer death. That's, that's, I still think the one that just seems the most brutal because it doesn't necessarily kill you immediately. It cracks your I'm skull. I'm not a, uh, people bleeding out on the floor. It seems a horrible mm -hmm. way to go. 
One of those guys in the FBI. Um, profilers? Go, yeah, I'm not a profiler, but I think the hammer if you use means hammer, you're real mad. Yeah. Like, you're real mad. That's anger. That's rage. Yeah, yeah that's not like... And uh, it's got to be close. you yeah. got to be close to the person. You and you got to do away. it more than once. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You just can't. Like, if I hit you in the head, I could see myself hitting Snow going in the head with a hammer. Right. And Please it causes Not problem. that I want to. I'm just saying if I did it, Out like, the first time, then, like, you started bleeding, you're like, ah. Oh, my God. I've I'd be like, oh, no. Right. Of course. Well, maybe then I'd have to kill him, but... I don't want to need him talking. But you got to keep hitting right, him with the hammer. Hitting him with a hammer. Yeah. Do you remember that? In the, like, like a gun is like, man, you're, and, I, and this is probably why we need to do something about guns. A gun's a little bit more like, hey, you pissed me off. Bam. That's it's exactly over. right. It's exactly right. A hammer, right. like, I got to get that's, I gotta get after it. And I know it sounds dumb to say that's what makes guns so much more dangerous. There's more to it than that. Right. But it's a huge, huge aspect. Yeah, there's a much smaller a barrier. Having access to a gun changes that. Right. And it's a much smaller barrier to actual murder. Yes. Do you remember that guy in the 80s and 90s who was a serial killer? He was go- breaking into women's houses and beating them with hammers while they were in bed. Huh. I mean, that just... Ugh, remember God, it. Th- yeah, remember it. <laughs> they did eventually, supposedly, catch the guy with DNA. But So anyway, this guy sh- goes to the house, to the victim's house, and there's apparently an unlocked door. As I mentioned, he's wearing all black. He's got the uh, the mask on. He's got gloves black on. Black gloves and a And hammer. he starts to attack the victim with Who's the hammer. The now, the victim is some, this other gamer. Is they, he like they, younger or something? They said that they're around the same age, and they said oh, Edward is 20. So okay, they're, they're both around 20, the age okay. of 20. So this other guy apparently was still gaming when the suspect arrives because he literally like gets up from gaming and starts getting attacked by this guy with a hammer. So uh, they wrestle around on the ground. The, the victim's stepdad is there. He's woken up by the screams for help. He comes down and is able to disarm the suspect and hold on to him until the cops got there. But here's your uh, but the guy died? Here's your suspect. No, here's your sus- suspect here. It's attempted. What? What? He looks young, doesn't he? Yeah, young. I mean, you hear 20, but it, he, he looks... He looks like a kid. We're older, too, so yeah. 20-year-olds look younger and younger, but that guy looks like a child to me. You know, like he made a decision that he is almost certainly going to regret. Although, Although if you I, took I, it that I, far, I, there's, something wrong, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. Again, Those if we're... Wires are And crossed. I know this is going to sound crazy, but if we're in the same room and we're gaming and I grab a base and hit you in the head with it... Different. That's one thing. Then getting on a plane, flying there, going there, like you're broken. Yes, I agree. You're broken. Yep, totally. He's dangerous. You have to have some common sense about it. Like, hey, you're in trouble, too, for hitting the guy with the base. But... You're dangerous to society. You, on the other hand, have real issues. You flew on an airplane, Mm -hmm. right? Drove all that way, like... You got problems. Yep. You don't get out as it's quick like the as kid the that you guy. that we all went to school with. Probably at least one kid that we there got were real bullies mad because you kept there was playing the, with Mahomes. <laughs> but there was that kid in school who but he was a little bit worse. Kid. So he's like, I'm I'm the Chiefs. So I'm like, okay. And then Mahomes slips my blitzes all the time and throws it. Hey, you hit him in the head yards with the base. Tyreek. I, well, I think about it. Right. But what you don't do is fly to his mother's well, I don't house. Do hit him, right, but. exactly. I know, I know. Because yeah. there's something there. Those wires aren't quite as crossed. But for some people, they are. And some people, you can tell at a young age. I would say this guy, you can tell. Based on these actions, I'm with you. He's messed up. I, I think, I, I don't remember if you've said, but I said I went to school with the kid who we knew in junior high. Yes, he was part of the bullies, but also there was something wrong with him to the point that, like, there was... There was no punishment that he feared. There was no... He didn't care what his parents thought. He didn't care what other kids thought. He didn't care how much trouble you got him in. And he's in prison now. And it's like you knew then this guy is... He has nothing to lose in his mind. Yeah. And, and he's going to probably end up in prison, which he did. And I don't know if you had one of those kids at your yeah, school brothers. or not. Maybe a couple of them. But yeah, yeah you're like, these guys one shot are not going to guard at the putt putt store. Yeah, see, that's unreasonable. Mm. That's right. unreasonable. And what this kid did is the same sort of yeah, thing. You're exactly. flying somewhere and attacking someone with a hammer. I mean, I've gotten really angry playing video games online. Yeah, I've never but thought about what I normally do, the worst thing I'll do is break a $100 controller, right? Throw it right. across the room and smash it. I get yelled at for not controlling kick my cabinet. emotions. Kick the cabinet. Kick the, you know, whatever. You know. Yeah, just kick whatever's around. <laughs> break something expensive. And then I feel a little bit better. Buying plane tickets, flying somewhere, and attacking someone with a hammer. That's a lot. Go ahead and lock them up for life. Mm-hmm. For life. That's a lot. How'd we do? That was wonderful. Thank you. You're more than welcome. And imagine being the stepdad, and you, you hear these screams, and you wake up, and you come down... And these kids are resting around, and you realize that this guy you've never seen before has a fucking hammer. 
I don't know how injured this guy is, but they said he had severe head injuries. Well, no shit. Hit in the head with a fucking hammer. And the, the suspect had told his family that he's, like, leaving, and he lied to them and said, oh, I'm going to go meet a friend that I met a long time ago through an online video game. We're going to go hang out. So he was able to stay calm enough to make them think that he was doing something normal and then left. Flew from New Jersey to Jacksonville. Well, he killed someone in Jacksonville? The, the, the guy lived, at, if he didn't live in Jacksonville, he lived near Jacksonville because that's where the sheriff gave the press conference. It doesn't count, then. Why? Because like, Jacksonville sucks. Like Georgia? No, no one cares. It's no still a long cares. way for him to, still a lot for this guy to do, get on a plane and fly down there and hit him with a fucking hammer. He bought the hammer and a flashlight at the hardware store as soon as he landed. They found the receipts. The, the, cop, the sheriff said, This incident serves as a stark reminder of the potential real-world consequences of online interaction. We urge the police to exercise caution, report any suspicious online behavior to the authorities, and always ensure that their homes are securely locked. Yeah, I need to do that. I never lock my doors. I shouldn't be broadcasting that, but I need to, I'm going to start now, so it doesn't matter. I need to start locking my doors. I think that's partially a generational thing, too, though, locking your doors. My older brothers are always freaked out by not locking the doors. We'd leave the house... And they go, well, you're not locking the door? I was like, do I need to lock the fucking door? I don't know. I just don't think about it. I, but I think a lot of people say they don't lock their doors. Laszlo doesn't lock his doors a lot of times. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, what are the odds? What are they going to do? When I had a dog, then it really didn't matter. Like a, an attack dog. I still have dogs, but... I heard my ex got swatted. What? Yeah, a while back someone told me that. How did that happen? I don't know. What happened? I, I really don't know. I just Someone said that she got swatted for her and her husband. What hooters? They didn't close my hooters, did they? they? I looked through the whole list, Laszlo. This was two nights ago. I was really... I got hung up on this trying to find which fucking hooters were closing. The 41 Action News website said hooters closing several locations across the country, including a couple in the Kansas City area. Okay, you go through. It didn't tell me in that article. I had to go through and look for which hooters websites have been deactivated. I don't know how I got so hung up on this, but I wanted to know if Laszlo's hooters was going to close. And it looked like both of them were on the Missouri side. If, okay, I, if I'm correct... There was one in Independence and maybe one in North KC, but whatever the second one was, it was also in Missouri, from what I saw. It could be Berry Road, Nerdlum. I'd have to go back. Literally, the only way to find out was Hooters deactivated websites for these locations that were closed. So when you try to click through to those locations, I don't even go to Hooters. I don't know why I was sitting here. I was like, now oh, I, worried about me. I was worried about you. I was worried about you. They said their Hooters said they're focusing more now on their frozen entrees, which are entering grocery stores as we mm. speak. And that their number one priority, oops, I just got these out. Number one priority is taking care of the staff at these locations. And I thought, what does that mean? Are you going to give them severance? Or no, but what does that mean? Thanks, man. Well, I got probably one more in there. Yep, looks like it. of it on my thumb. Spilled it. Sorry about that. Oh, the world's tallest dog died already? Those dogs do not live very long. How old was he? He was seven feet tall when he stood on his hind legs. Christ almighty. It says seven feet on hind legs. I'm trying to figure out. I guess that's how Guinness Records uh, judges it, is how tall they are when sitting on their hind legs. And it says seven feet. He was only three when he died. Yeah, Great Dane. I thought he had two Great Danes, and both of them died, I think, at younger than five or right around five. I just thought, man, I couldn't do it. That's, too, that's tough.
and and before they died long before they died they had like hip problems and needed help getting on the couch and stuff it's like their health starts going early Sounds like uh, some of you guys are dog people. What What do you think is going on? My little dog, every morning, just goes, bah, and just pukes up a little bile. Only does it once a day, and only does it in the morning after he wakes up. Our newest theory is that he's really hungry, and that he needs to eat when he wakes up instead of uh, waiting, because he usually wakes up at like 7 or 8, and then I feed him at like 9 or 10. Yeah, it's just yellow. Okay, are you ready? And no, she, Brooke goes out there with him in the morning and says he's not eating grass. So he eats breakfast, like I said, around 10 a.m. He eats dinner around 6 or 7. He's, Does he, he eat ass? He's hungry. Okay, because that's what yeah, Brooke said. Yeah, right? Does he eat ass? Does he lick ass? Best. I thought it was grass too, Crunchberry, but Ooh. she says he's not eating any grass or anything in the okay, yard. Okay, here we go. Yo. Yo. So you've had it. Your dog's you, probably eating ass, man. I don't know what he's Sees you do it. The theory, the theory is, is that he's not eating you know, enough. It's like at dogs; all, so. they watch it and they're like, "Yeah, let me try it." Yeah. Then he know. goes to your other dog and just eats his ass. Yeah, yeah. He does mimic, so you right, know. That's what I'm just, saying. But no one has caught him doing that that's yet. That's why so. he's puking. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think he's just hungry. I think we're going to start feeding him earlier. So, did you figure out what you're better at than 80 percent of did the not. population? Nothing. Eat ass. Nothing. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to give you some examples of the, the top examples that people gave online? Maybe it'll help you think of something. Okay, some of them are ridiculous. You know, you said the Smith's lyrics mm. thing would be dumb, but don't worry. There are things that just as dumb on the list. But like one of the people said that they have this odd talent for judging volume. And what? they said that they can oh, look at like, like a pot of leftover soup and know exactly which size container it, it fits in. Oh, like the, the commercial? Is there a commercial? Isn't there a commercial that's like your grandmother knows the size of everything? And oh, it's maybe. like the car's pulling into the garage and she's like, it's not going to fit. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just a takeoff of a commercial. It's okay. like a Geico commercial or something. I haven't seen it. But yeah, the person says that they know exactly which container. It fits perfectly. Uh, yeah. leaving the I don't least love it. They stole it from space. a commercial. Okay. I haven't seen the commercial, so I hate them. there you go. Now, someone said that, like, uh, this would be a dumb one. They said that they're better at complaining than 80% yeah, because that. that just means that you complain a lot and people around you are telling you that you complain too much. I don't know that that makes you better it's at it. It's not quantifiable. Just means that it isn't. And also, it just means that you do it a lot. Yeah. I think being better at it would mean that your complaining led to some change, right? Mm-hmm. If you're good at complaining, then whatever you're complaining about might be addressed yeah. by the people around right. you. That would be good at it. Just bitching about everything and hating mm. everything, that's not thats not quantifiable, first of all, like you no. said. And Plus, it's you'd have to beat me at that, and I don't think right. you can. Right. Uh, throwing I a, hate everything. Someone said throwing a Frisbee. I'm not good at throwing a Frisbee. I watched these disc either. golfers. Holy crap. I didn't even know that you're supposed to throw it that way when they do their... And, I mean, they can get it directly where they're aiming yeah. and it just okay yeah. that's probably quantifiable too with disc golf and those kind of things i'm sure if you play disc golf and you're decent at it then you're better at throwing a frisbee than 80 percent of the population I, bet. I mean that's pretty safe assumption because most of us when we go out there with the frisbee we're gonna even if we like playing catch with our well, kids not all of us are we're retarded just gonna, like you whoa oh i'm not allowed to say that definitely not <laughs> So I'm just saying, not always roll of football. I, I'm saying that, he, but you still probably, if you were going to go play catch with I'm the frisbee, I'm allowed to say that. That's a bad one. Yes, if you went to go play catch That's real bad, with the it? frisbee out front, no one cares anymore. No one cares. No, they do care. No, it's they been, care. It's been easing up. It's been easing up. No one cares. Up. They care though. No, no one cares. It's been easing up a lot. You it let really it go. Has. You let it go. You see it a lot more online now than you used <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, no one cares. Yeah, that doesn't mean that's not I'm a good saying, thing necessarily. Society is easing up on yeah, that. No I one see cares. a lot more right wing radical groups popping up online too. That doesn't I know. Mean I'm just well. saying. As long as we have their support, they're easing up. My point is, when you go out, the pendulum always swings back. If we went outside to throw a frisbee, now you can say it. Apparently, would you throw it like this? To, if we went out front to play catch with the frisbee, you'd throw it like this, yeah. right? Okay, so would I. That's what I'm saying. These guys that are throwing it, you know, the way that they do, well, that's got to make them better. I have thrown it like that before. Yeah, but are you any I'm good at it? it? Well, I haven't done it in a long time. Yeah, so these guys a are better. A practice, I might be These right. guys are better than 80%. I'm, I'm willing to believe these guys. That 80%, I mean, that most people probably haven't touched a frisbee in years. Uh, someone said that they're better than 80% of the population at untangling things, like Christmas lights 
uh, headphone cords, uh, chained necklaces, you name it. They said that people always hand them yeah, this stuff this because not, I, they get I don't they, like this. they get stuck to it. Exactly, but that's once again not quantifiable. Mm -mm. Now that might mean that you have an attention span for it, but why are you better at it? Are you telling me mm. that you're better at tying knots? Because that's different, mm. or which means you're better at untying knots. If you mm. told me that, then I'd go with you. You went mm. through the Boy Scouts, you learned a bunch of knot tying. Mm. So when you see tangles, you know how if to take care of them. If you could tie probably like five or six different knots, you're exactly. probably better than most. I got yours. What about like underwater? Water mine detecting. Well, I don't know how to do that. Really. Well, I mean, the boat well, did it. I was yeah. in the Navy. I mean, yeah, but no. You gotta have something know. for the Navy that makes you better than eighty percent of the people. Mm. Yeah, that's worth thinking about. I mean, now you're getting closer to like or coaching things, baseball. Things that mm -hmm. I've done. Coaching that, baseball or football, you're probably better than eighty percent. That could maybe, be maybe not. coaching kids. Eighty eighty percent. Yeah, I think eighty percent is a lot. Yes. There are a lot of coaches out there. but Right, but we're talking about 80% of the population. I know, but I'm just saying. So you're in the top 20% of coaching Easily. kids. 80% of the population has never coached a kid. It's like 0.5% have. Right. Okay. I, I would All say right. very few people have ever coached a, a, a little league or whatever you want to call okay. it, youth sports. So, yeah, there you go. You're better at coaching youth sports than 80% of the population. That's quantifiable, and it's I'm with you, Snowcone. That is a safe bet. Um, parallel parking. I, can't I, I thought that. about this. I am okay at it. But does that mean that I'm better than 80%? I think possibly. I, think I know I a lot am. of people I'm who, really good at it. You're good at it? Yeah. Then you probably really? are because a I, lot of I people really don't even attempt it. it. They just say, I can't do this. And I'm not like a – I mean, I'm a normal driver. I think I'm, I'm kind of like you. I go, I go pretty slow. I, yeah. I always use my blinker. I can never do it. I'm okay and, at it. I can really never do it. parallel parking. You know, I know you're supposed to go halfway to the car in front of you and then back up, turn it once, mm -hmm. and then turn it in. But it's never perfect. But if you can do like it, it gets in there enough to where, like, you know, basically sex. It's in there enough, mm. <laughs> right? But it ain't right. <laughs> right. And you get it's done, and you're like, hey, I mean, it was okay, <laughs> <laughs> right? Not, nobody's gonna complain here, but I think that might be it better wasn't than 80%. perfect. It wasn't perfect they for anybody. <clears throat> I wouldn't be if you told me that eighty percent of the population won't parallel park, doesn't try to parallel park. I would buy that, yeah, because yeah. I know a lot of people that just say I can't do it, I'm not doing it. Will you do it for me? Do you know how to parallel park? So if you can parallel park at all, I'd say there's a chance that you're better than eighty mm, percent. I don't think I am. You don't think so? No, I'm more. I'm not. I'm not that good at it. And now, if we were doing, you know, how do you break it down? Like eighty percent of drivers, eighty percent of drivers, then it gets a little tougher. But eighty percent mm. of the population. I don't know how good they are at parallel parking in yeah, Europe. I don't and like in, that. in Europe, they're probably real good like at it. Real good at it in Europe. I, they might in be Chicago, good in New York. I am saying, any of these cities <clears> and in Europe, everyone lives so close together, so they're probably yeah. all pretty damn good at it. So, yeah, that one's on the cusp. I mean, I'll give it a shot, but I'm with you. No one's writing any letters about mm -hmm. it like, oh, look at this. Uh, so, someone said grammar, finding misplaced commas. and Okay, well, if you're like an English teacher or something, I guess well, that is right. somewhat quantifiable. 80% better being a jackass than everybody else. And we all had that teacher in school, that, that serious English teacher. Mine was in eighth grade. Like, you will learn how to do this properly. You right. will not end a sentence. With, you know, all of those rules that you had to learn, and she was mad about it. Yours was Miss Big Ass, wasn't it? Wasn't she your no, English teacher? No, she was my science fiction teacher. Oh. Dot Golden. Yeah, okay. I always thought quack, she, quack, waddle, waddle. I guess I just Every time substitute she comes up, her for mine. Her so people can see. I had Miss Davis as an English teacher, and she was mean, and she was tough, but she was good, damn it, and we thanked her later because it did make high school easier. I had a easier. woman who taught English. Her name was Miss York. Okay. And she had a British accent. That's cool. And loved Shakespeare. And I always just uh, thought, how cliche. Right. Now it's not so cool. Now you're just telling me you love them. You don't love them. You just talk like that. Yeah. I'm not even sure you do talk like that, Yeah, baby reindeer. Yeah. I think there's a chance you're just a weirdo. Okay. We had a teacher in fifth grade. Yeah. I'm not going to say her name, but they said she was French. Mm. And she thought, What's you know, her name? She had this accent. Not saying it. And she'd have this accent, but I heard her I'm slip, drawing, I'm drawing slip out of this accent. I heard her slip out of this accent a few times. And even as a child, which that sort of thing would have never crossed my mind in fifth grade that a person would lie about where they're from. And, but I think she was faking this accent. Well, then you got your ex-wife's friend or whatever that did that. Oh, my God. No, that's my buddy's ex-wife. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. My buddy's ex-wife. She met someone. Like, she moved to town, goes online. and yeah. What was that Craigslist thing? Like, looking for friends? Mm hmm And she meets someone There's on there. She's going to town. And this girl was British for... Rich. Five years, mm -hmm. and before we figured out she wasn't British at all. But you never noticed it. You never noticed. No, it she was out. in character at all times. She had her accent. She was yeah. a nice person. Mm -hmm. What causes? Yeah. Boy, I'd like to talk to a psychiatrist about that. Seriously, what causes that? What causes someone to fake an accent for that I, long? Yeah, I just assume she wanted to teach us Shakespeare. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you think yours was faking, I don't know that she was, class. but I was like, you know, whatever. Um, 
having a good in, internal clock. Now, this one I did think was interesting, and the reason I skipped to it is because they were saying that they can wake up without an alarm yeah. right before their alarm goes off. I do seem to always wake up right before my alarm goes off, but it could be a perception bias because I can do it. I might just be waking I, up a lot. I don't trust anyway. myself to do it. No, me neither. But I can do it. Like but, if I if I tell myself like instead of setting an alarm, to be honest, yeah. If I say, all right, wake up at six twenty-five. Yeah. Wake up at 625. I'll usually wake up around 625. Like I, my I brain too. will tell me to. Okay, well, if you can do it too, then I'm going to say... But it doesn't always it happen, and sometimes you're like, dude, I told you to wake me up at 625. It's noon. Yeah. So that's the problem. Yeah. So I don't ever do it. Yeah. I, it, I definitely feel like I have that. I always wake up, like, seriously, a couple minutes mm. before my alarm goes off, so I'll turn it off real quick. But it could be that I'm waking up a lot and just not remembering those yeah. times that I woke up before. But I feel like I have a good internal clock. Um Okay, you know what? That one's stupid. I'll just skip it because we've talked about this long enough anyway. But chess, the person says they're better than 80%. And they say, they, say that's sure. a, they say 80% is a pretty low bar, so being decent at chess, they think they're better than 80%. I was in chess okay. club. I did, like, tournaments around the state. So then you're probably better than 80%. Yeah, but it's been a long time. So you but, just got a ton of pussy in high school? <laughs> so much. <laughs> Hell, yeah, man. Chess club, man, you got to get there early. What, let me tell you guys. The, the Queen's Gambit. That's there what we know. call you. <laughs> the Queen's Gambit. This kind of stuff you keep to yourself, bro. Nobody knew that until right now. He'd been hey, keeping it to himself this whole time. time. I'm okay yeah. with it. He'd been keeping it to himself this entire time, and then he let it out, and he's gonna regret it because you. Are, I'm calling you Queen's Gambit from now on. Uh, the top one was a dumb one. It was a, uh, they say they're better than 80 percent at uh, picking the slow line at the store. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Okay, good. okay, great. So what's yours? What are you I, going with? I don't know. Little League, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Little League. Snow cone. What's yours? Eating ass. Eating ass. Okay, you're better at it. I'm better than 99 percent of the. Country. Or you do it more than 99 percent of the. Okay. Well, practice makes perfect. That's, yeah. That's that's true. That's true. I'd say I'm better than 80% of the population at uh, getting uh, porn onto onto the big screen. Been doing it for years. I know it's easier now. Technology's made it easier. Your neighbors first. But I've been doing it for years. I used to buy these homemade. You sent it to your casting neighbor's daughter. Kits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, you get sloppy after a while when you get so good at it. But I am very good at. You want me to cast something? I can do it. Now it's become easy. I get it. So it is easier for a lot of people. You well, I still Apple can't TV, cast one of my TVs. So there you go. I, right. I, I can figure one that, of them. It just comes up out. and says "Garage TV," and I hit it. Yeah. One of my living room, never, never. Yeah. I could, I could, I could figure that out. I'd have porn on there in two seconds. Uh, vanilla Coke. Are you talking about, like, just coming... You need something to eat, so you use stuff that's around the house, and you combine a bunch of stuff. Or are you saying that you can uh, go out to eat or go to someone's house, they have some sort of food, and you're like, oh, this is good, and you can figure out how to make it when you get home? Is like just making new things or figuring out how to make something that you've had without a recipe? My aunt and my brother both re- are really good at that, trying something and saying, okay, I can make this at home without an ingredient. Or without a recipe. Okay, you're making new things. You know, Twitch, Snow Cone is so into the Idaho murder thing, and he watched so much stuff Andy online Nash. about it. Andy Eaton ass. And I he just, wants to eat the Idaho murderer's ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's I think, what he said to me. I think He, he said, if I could just eat his ass, I'd get all the answers. <laughs> he would tell me everything. If I just bent over Cloyd Hopper, or whatever his name is, and ate his <laughs> asshole for an hour, and then played chess with that motherfucker, he would tell me exactly what happened. I think I was gonna say I think Snowcone missed out on this Karen Reed thing. My tongue. I can't believe I you didn't out get on it. what on this Karen Reed thing. I can't believe you didn't get he into it. It's clock. so popular on My social tongue media. To your asshole. The like, thing that we watched. I made you watch the video the other day. The woman who was accused oh, of killing her husband yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah, boyfriend yeah. at the time. He was a cop. Yeah. I'll catch God, it's up on all it. over. Well, the, they're deliberating right now. Well, that doesn't mean I can't catch up. Just, I see so much shit about it. I thought, man, Snowcone should have got into this because with the Idaho thing, there hasn't been anything happening. And with this, well, it's not been anything happening. I'll tell you why not anything's been happening, because the motherfucker's innocent. Well, that could be.
Oh, God damn it. Was so, that... so what do you think? So is she guilty or not? Was that Ken? I really don't know. I, I okay, Honestly, when I, pick. when I see stuff about it, I think I wish Snowcone had been following this even 10% as close as he followed the uh, Idaho thing because I would ask him what he thinks. I want to ask Twitch because I know there's people on Twitch who are really into it. What does Twitch think? I mean, it certainly looked like in the beginning she was guilty, uh, those car parts and everything else. But if you think that, if you believe that the cops are setting her up, then I guess that's how you explain that evidence. The issue would be that that search that that friend that Jenny whatever made inside the house. How long? That's like the one house thing, long to die in cold. Yeah, and it's a big thing to to search that at two thirty in the morning that night. You know. But it doesn't have to be. It could be explainable. Crunchberry says Jenny is in on it. All right, let's see. I mean, how do you explain it? Karen Reed is. Crunchberry says Karen Reed is not guilty. How do you but explain it? All the cops' it? friends are. There's no evidence she did anything. But the text, forensics, and the guys who threw their phones away. Jenny is in on it. I mean, none of them seem like great people. So what? What do you think happened then, Crunchberry? Do you think that they got into a fight at the house? Do you think that he drank too much and he passed out and they was worried that he wasn't breathing and because they didn't notice and they threw him out front? I want to know what the explanation for that text would be. It'd be like a dog or a cat's outside the, the, overnight and you're the, worried about that. The, the search? Yeah, like what's, yeah what I mean, they I'm say? just trying to imagine like, okay, let's imagine. we're the all, dog's stuck we're all outside. Sit, let's say we're all sitting around drunk or whatever and we're chatting. Maybe we're like, down at the bar. So she was, wasn't her like, home, right? So no, maybe it was her at dog. at that other home. Maybe her dog at home is outside, and she's thinking, like, is my dog going to be okay? But Karen's not the one who searched it. I know. I'm saying right, okay. her friend. Yeah. yeah. So imagine you're at this house, all these drunk people. You've been out at a bar all night. It's freezing cold. There's snow outside. Is there a scenario where you go, you know, like, you can't walk home. You fucking freeze to death. Or, yeah. you know, I, dude, it's so yeah. cold. I feel like you die out there. How long does it what take to die in the cold? What are they saying about butt dials? She said Karen told her to search that. I want to read about it. I'm telling you, this has got your name all over it. Bang, bang, Maxwell, silver hammer came down. There were six butt dials? This is a lot. I saw a thing that was just about the butt dials. Let's see, I have a tab here somewhere. It was literally or called, the butt like, dials. why the butt dials? Hold on, I have it. Boom, why so many butt dials? Who called who and when? After 18 days of testimony, the jury and has been presented with an enormous amount of information. Prosecutors say Reed dropped her boyfriend, John O'Keefe, a Boston police officer, off at a house party hosted by a fellow officer, Brian Albert, in January 2022. Struck him with her SUV and then drove away, but her defense team says she was framed and O'Keefe was beaten inside the home and left outside. One question about the case uh, that we keep hearing from viewers is who called who and when? Here's our breakdown of the testimony so far. So far, three witnesses called by the prosecution have testified they either placed a call or answered one, but didn't mean to. They are Albert, Jennifer McCabe, and Brian Higgins, three key players in the trial. All of them described the calls as butt dials. Phone records. All three of them had butt dials? Mm -hmm. Phone okay, records no. provided by the defense shows that there are a total of nine calls unaccounted for. Let's start with Albert. He was the first one to use the term butt dial. Albert testified that he had his phone with him in bed on the night of O'Keefe's death and admits that he was awake at the time. The defense, comparing call logs, asked about a one-second call placed on his phone to Higgins at 2.22 a.m., just hours before O'Keefe's body was found in Albert's That's a yard. a one-second call. So. I butt-dial people often and make inadvertent calls, he said. I could have hit a last call from him by accident. Albert was shown previous testimony where he gave a possible explanation for the butt-dial, uh, about what was happening at the time. He said that he was in bed and involved in an intimate situation with his wife. Higgins, who would go on to testify, he didn't uh, answer he the inadvertent fucking. call from Albert. That's what he means by that. He was fucking. But that's not the only unexplained call He's between the two. Tua. The defense pointed to a second call made just 17 seconds after the first one. That call came from Higgins' phone and lasted 22 seconds. When asked about the call, Higgins also mentioned a butt dial. 22 seconds, huh? Again, the defense brought up also Higgins' testimony from a prior hearing where his answer about making the second call was different. He said he did call Albert back, but they did not have a conversation. Albert was also asked to explain that call from Higgins that he said he didn't answer. Quote, my wife was in the room with me, and we were hanging out, and I never got the second call from him, he said. Phone records show more calls were made between them. The defense asked Albert about the phone calls he made after O'Keefe's body was found in the front yard. The first call was made to Higgins. Quote, I informed him about what was going on at my house, end quote. Now McCabe, who also testified she placed some inadvertent calls, seven in total, to O'Keefe's phone. At 12.14 a.m., 12.18 a.m., on January 29th, 2022, she testified that she and O'Keefe spoke by phone 
but the next series of calls are unaccounted for. Seven calls between 1229 and 1250. I don't remember making any of those calls, so my assumption is I put my phone in my back pocket and that was it, she testified. Records of those missed calls came from an extraction of Akeep's phone. The records of those calls appear to have been deleted from her phone. Yeah, oh, fuck yeah, fuck that. that. There's something going on. Fuck Once more, that. the defense pushed back, leaving there's, jurors there's to infer tons a possible of explanation. Doubt just off this article that's, that's reasonable doubt. There's tons yeah. of reasonable that doubt. Search just from, that, that guy search on court alone TV, is that, fucking reasonable That lawyer doubt. on court TV is a lawyer. So when he said that search alone is, is enough for reasonable doubt, reasonable I was like, doubt. is it? I mean, he's the lawyer. So I was like, okay, maybe I mean, it is enough. Certainly fucking, it certainly creates it. Now, and now you've got all these butt You're going to have to overcome the reasonable doubt I have based on that search. I'm not saying you can't, but with those butt dials, like there's a mountain of reasonable doubt. Look up the autopsy. He was beaten on the face and head. Yes, I saw that stuff. And so, yes, okay, bit by dog. But was he bit by a dog? Because I saw that that was uh, uh, debated. The text between the guys were so horrible. They talked about Karen like shit and called her a cunt. They already didn't like her. She may be shitty, but still. A lot of shit was deleted. She may have hit him with her car when she went looking for him, but he was already dead. So both sides could be true, but she didn't kill him. If I were on the jury, I'd be so mad for wasting my time. I uh, heard he was, but I don't know. I assume you're talking about the uh, dog thing. Yeah, I saw the dog thing somewhere, but I, I thought it said it was debated. When they're talking about the autopsy. But uh, are they saying, Crunchberry, this is where I get confused, is the very top of this. They, they go out to the bars, they go over to this house, are they saying that he went over to the house and she what was behind them because she was paying a tab at the bar or she, whatever she she was supposedly driving over to the house separately, and then when she gets there they're saying oh your husband's dead, what what what's the story about her arriving at the house because saying that he she wasn't there with him. Oh she dropped him off. So she goes over there, drops him off, and then she's coming back to pick him up. She went home and then came back because he didn't come home in the morning. Okay. Oh, Jesus, what time did the cops get called? I thought it was in the middle of the night. I thought it was like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. She went home, realized he hadn't come home, and went looking for him. Okay. This is totally something Snowcone would be interested in. I, I tried showing him that video that you sent a couple of weeks ago or that somebody sent that was the quick 90-second breakdown from Court TV, but I don't think you watched it. This is the kind of stuff he would normally be watching YouTube videos about and giving me all kinds of insight. Then it passed my radar. Except when I put it in front of your face and made you watch it. Yeah, that was like a day ago. <laughs> Is that a week and a half, two weeks ago? A lot of people uh, were at the party said John wasn't even at the house. Yeah, I, I've seen that, which confuses me too. Her main defense attorney is awesome. Well... We'll see if that jury comes back. If you see that the jury came back, Crunchberry, or anyone else before I do, let me know. I know people are interested in this. sad because his sister died and then her husband died his sister died and then her husband died and then he adopted their kids oh yeah I read uh, something about that too
Yeah, that's terrible. You get adopted and then your fucking parents die. Is nine drinks a lot? But they were all friends, right? I mean, they were all out drinking together. I don't understand this. So they weren't friends. She started to got a bad with fucking her name. Bob's Bastard's House. Was it Bob's Bastard's House or Bob's House of Bastards? It was Bastard's House. Of what? Were you working here when we did Bob's Bastard's House? I don't think so. My mom always used to give stuff to the orphanage. It's like the boys' orphanage in town. So when she had stuff to donate or whatever, that's who she always gave stuff to. And I think they gave them a little bit of money, too. And I mentioned it one time to Laszlo and started this whole conversation about orphanages and then giving money. And we started calling him Bob's Bastard's House or Bob's House of Bastards, something like that. I think it's still around. Oh, what's the name of that? Okay. I don't know how to spell that. It's something home for boys. Let's try to get Lazar to buy a brick. Yeah, it's still here. Boy, their website looks like it's from 2001. Oh, it literally is. It says at the bottom of 2001. So is this still around? Again, in 1948 group of volunteers who found and cared for six boys who'd been abused and abandoned and turned it into a small organization. Okay, tease part one. Ozenam Home Ready? for Boys. Yep. We're teasing it. You can take your time with it, too. Yo. Yo. What are we teasing? Uh, we're getting ready to do the news coming up. Oh. And there's a lot to discuss because, and I don't know if you've been looking at our chat on Twitch, but a lot of discussion about this Karen Reed trial for people who are into, I guess, like court TV, true crime, whatever. Karen this, Reed. Yeah, this has been a big, big, big story, and especially since the trial started. What happened to her? Well, she was accused of killing her boyfriend. She is accused of killing her boyfriend, who is okay. a cop. But she didn't do it? Well, that's, have another one of these? that's up for you to decide. A Twitch says no. Twitch says at least reasonable doubt. That if they were on the jury, they'd have reasonable doubt. I agree you? based on what I know. Based on what I've heard, and I have not followed it nearly as closely as some of these people on Twitch, but yes, I would have reasonable doubt. There's some fishy stuff going on. A lot of fishy stuff. And uh, Lazo, knowing you, and you know, like how you feel about OJ and all that, right? I would say I'm almost, I'm very confident that Lazo would have reasonable doubt as a juror. Don't you think, Snowcone? If Lazo were on that jury right now, deliberating well, I mean, with those just people, the things you've read me, there's, what's her there's name? a mountain. Karen, already. Already. She's Karen guilty. Reed. White lady. You say she's guilty. Yeah, white lady. Yeah, she's going to jail. But so that that's that's just it. You're like, man, that was a long trial. I wasn't paying attention, but I saw her and I heard the white name lady, and I was like, it's yeah. over. A white lady named Karen. Yeah. Killed her boyfriend, ran him over with a car or something. That's what they claimed. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm the sure aut- she did it. but then the autopsy uh, revealed that it looked like he was severely beaten, possibly bit by a dog. It's quite a crazy story, and there's a lot of different elements to try and debate and understand, but there are plenty of things to give you reasonable doubt, which I'll, I'll explain at least a little bit coming up, but there's also other stuff to talk about, like the big news. I mean, look, being fans of the Chiefs all these years, it has really just completely changed now. And I know it's hard to see it when you're in it, but it's just so crazy how popular the Chiefs are between Mahomes being so good and Kelsey dating Taylor Swift it's crazy, and I used to get so excited any time Kansas City was mentioned in any type of national show, movie, anything. If they showed up a, a, a picture of something, like a, a, if, if there was, remember Moneyball? In Moneyball, mm-hmm. there's a scene where they're recreating a game where they're playing the Royals. And even oh, right, then, yeah, I'm yeah. like, yay, they're showing the Royals. Right, because yeah. Kansas City's not a big city, so there's not a ton of representation. With the Chiefs being... And as, representation matters. Are you being serious right now? Yeah. Or are you just trying to... Be funny. Oh, I'm saying representation matters. Well, okay. I read yeah. that. I mean, yeah. I, I don't like. I hear people say that too. Uh, so man, you just said representation. I know that it matters. But you hear about the Chiefs in some form matter. every day now. I think even if you don't live in Kansas City, that it's everywhere between Kelsey and Mahomes. And now we've got more news. A lot of people are confused and think that this new I'll big kill you a bunch of announcement has to do with Kelsey. But it doesn't. to you like that guy. And him with a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I didn't want to bring this up. 
but I will now because Snowcone says we need to stall. When I saw the story about the hammer, it did remind me of the time that you and that gentleman got into a fight. We were just going to drive. It's a big difference. He got into a fight, and he had you had plenty of time to calm down. I know you're upset. We went out front. We smoked about a dozen cigarettes each, and you seemed to be still at the same level of agitation, and you were trying to convince me to go with you to meet this guy yeah. so that we could run him over with your car. Yeah. Now, I'm just saying that I kept thinking you would calm down, and then when that guy called back and gave you a location, I became concerned. And I had to start reminding you that you, you would probably lose your job. You could probably go to jail. Yeah, the whatever. place he wanted to meet you was a place where there's a lot of cops who are really bored because it's a nice neighborhood. I, I said, that this isn't a good idea. This isn't a good idea. Those cops are going to be watching us as soon as we were all up there in that Beretta. You, know, you want to live your life without any regrets, and that's one of my regrets. No, we didn't kill that guy. No, I don't want to live my life without any regrets. I just don't want to kill anybody right now. And I certainly didn't want to kill that guy. I wasn't angry enough. So Lazo, yes, he had a similar interaction that could have but gone more similarly. No, you didn't because someone was there holding you oh, back. Oh, it was you? Yes, it was me. The voice of reason? You, yes, absolutely. I kept saying, no, we're not doing this. And you wanted me to drive so that you could hop out of the passenger seat. I wanted you to drive because no. I didn't have a license. No, and also because the whole part of the plane was you drop out, and then if he starts to beat you up, because we didn't know what it yeah. looked like, he said, if he's bigger than yeah, me, he starts to beat me up, we go. roll him over. Yeah, roll over him with yeah, the car. Don't hit him like to kill him. Just hit him hard enough that he, you know. You know. <laughs> right. You know, don't, don't kill him. Yeah, just, I'm saying don't hit him at 80. Just 20. Put it, 20 right in the legs. Put it in first gear. Knock him over. I'll get back in the passenger seat, and we'll get we'll get the hell out of there. Yeah, if you were making a good point on Twitch, you should have masturbated me first. Uh, well, yeah, you know, I guess maybe we didn't say that as often back then. I don't know. But... Would that have changed anything? Well, yes, of course. You, you were very angry. I mean, usually masturbation clears my head for sexually related things. Like if I'm thinking about driving a million miles to see a girl I've never met at 3 o'clock in the morning, masturbation helps me clear that up. I don't know. Maybe it helps make you less angry, though, too. But, yeah, Laszlo wanted to hit that guy with the car. I know it's been mentioned before, but that is not a, a, a made-up story. It is not an embellished no. story. It is, it is, I would say, possibly the angriest I've ever seen Laszlo, the most worked up I've ever seen him. And I had only known him at that point, like maybe a year. And I started to become a little concerned in that moment. Like, oh, am I going to have to? Because I was willing to do anything for Lazo. And, I, and I'm thinking, am I going to have to commit a felony, you know, to show this guy that I'm loyal to him? And I became concerned. But since then, Lazo has not asked me to commit one more felony. That's not that was the true. only just time. Done that. Felony. No, you've no, you have not asked me to commit one felony mm. since then. You've asked me to break some rules and some laws, but I don't think any of them were felonious, and I think that time that you wanted me to run the guy over with the car was the only time I faced possible prison I time. I feel like we have more going that. on. But. There's been a, I mean, there, we've had discussions, but they didn't get nearly as far as the car thing. You were walking towards the Beretta. I was grabbing the back of your shirt saying, calm down, let's smoke some more cigarettes and think about this. Okay, Snowcone, was that long enough? We're going to do the news coming up? Man, I, I wonder who that guy was. Love to know what he's up to now. I mean, he pissed me off, too. Don't get me wrong. I would have loved to have seen someone kick his ass. But we didn't know what he looked like. I don't have to take illegal drugs across state lines. I have a legal drug dealer called a doctor. And as a matter of fact, I have to come up with more money now to keep him as my doctor. He's getting more expensive. It's either that or find a new doctor. I'm going to go smoke. Is that okay? You want to do part one first? Not really. Okay. Does he have time to smoke? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. I'll see if there's audio for this uh, thing yet. When did they... Crunch Bear, are you still there? When did they... 
start deliberation. Well, didn't they start yesterday or did they just start today? I thought they were deliberating yesterday afternoon. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Are okay, yep. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I've, I think I heard about it this morning too, but I, for some reason I thought it was saying that they started yesterday, but maybe not. Don't they say the longer it takes, the less likely a guilty verdict's coming or the more likely? I can't remember now. Is it worse for the defense if the, if the jury takes longer to deliberate or better for the defense? I can't remember. I think it all depends on context. Yeah, but like there's this general with, they thing. They said like with Hunter Biden, I remember them saying if the jury takes a long time, it's good for the defense. If it takes, if it comes back quick, it's bad for the defense. I think that's the general rule: is that if it takes them a long time, then it's there must be the some defense. doubt, and it must there's be good for the have, defense. There's something to debate they're having. And if it, if they come back immediately, it's worrisome for the defense. Yeah, the state proved their case easily. <laughs> Does anyone watch that accused show, the A and E show, where they just follow one? person who is accused of something and they only give their side of the story kind of makes them look better than they should when you read about them afterwards anyone seen that show i think there's two seasons of it there was a, a kid who was like 17 years old 16 something like that real tall kid and he punched i don't remember if it was his stepfather or his step uncle something this this guy was uh he said um abusing Maybe his little brother, some shit. Anyway, he punched him one time and it killed him. He fell to the ground and he died, and they wanted to put this kid in prison. That was the most anxiety I've ever had watching one of those shows when they said the jury's going to deliberate, and I was waiting for the verdict. I was so worried for that kid. Well, he was big. I mean, I don't know about Tyson, but he was extremely tall for his age. And the, the guy that he killed was wanting to fight him. From The story was that I don't think anyone was even disputing that, that he came out of his house and he's like, fuck you. And, we, we, you know, was going to fight this kid. And the kid punched him one time and boom, killed this guy. There was a kid that was at my high school who was older than me. He was like four years older than me. He's a senior when I was a freshman. And he was, the, the story that everyone told, I feel like this can't be true looking back, but he was at a house party with friends. It was wintertime. He went out front. He pushed one of his friends. The story was that he, like, pushed him playfully. And the friend slipped on ice, fell back, hit his head, died. And this kid went to prison. Now, the kid was in prison, but I find it hard to believe that that's, the whole story I just I remember I had an English teacher who was crying about it because she really liked this kid why have you been running so early I don't know that's what I was going to ask what's going on well I think a lot of it's because we're not we're starting way later are they dropping do. music no it's the same amount we're just starting later than we usually do but even when we do that we normally add music and we're I, fine right yeah I do but it's I think we're starting later even later than we usually usually do hmm I'm going to try and get in after two quicker. Because, yeah, it's just, it's hard to catch up. Because, like, this, right now we're about... I see. 20 minutes, 30 minutes early. We're 410 early on this And usually hour. if I'm putting a segment in here at the top of the hour set... You're talking about for the whole show? We're 20 minutes uh -huh. early? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you what, see that? What's it say on the log? It says we're four minutes early for this hour. Yeah. But how do you see the whole show well i'm just doing math it's just okay you're, just, at it. you're, you're adding it yeah, up yeah yeah um if you want to see for the whole show i can show you real quick okay what's it say now 32 you just got rid of the timing the top of the hours uh-huh yeah usually at this point putting third segment in Usually one of the longest, usually, you know, top of the hour. I'm usually dropping the next two or three songs. And now it's like it's not even going to hit the uh, stop set on time. Like it's going to hit early, you know? Yeah. 
But, you know, it's not a huge deal. We can always add songs. It's just I don't know why it's happening. The only thing I think is it's starting later. Hmm. We watched The Town again this weekend. You like The Town, Snow Cone? It's a good movie. It's crazy how similar it is to Heat. Ben Affleck's a talented guy. It is a good movie, and right now, Pancho, it's only streaming on Pluto with the fucking commercials. It's been streaming on different platforms consistently, I feel like, for the last five years, and now it's locked in on Pluto, and I don't own it. So I was trying to show Brooke, because <clears throat> she'd never seen it, and we'd watch The Town, and I was talking about Heat. So then she, she watched part of it on Pluto, and she was like, wait, I don't understand. Is The Town just like a remake? This is like the same movie. Like, it's not the same. And I know that in the beginning it does seem like it's almost exactly the same, but it's certainly inspired by. It's like if you ever watch Drive with Ryan Gosling, uh, watch the opening of that, and then watch the opening of Michael Mann's earlier movie, Thief. It's crazy. It's the, it's the same fucking opening. I remember seeing Drive and my brother telling me like, yeah, because I was like, man, that's such a good movie. Have you seen it? He goes, yeah, I liked it. I was like, it's fucking awesome, isn't it? He goes, yeah, but they just ripped off Thief. I was like, huh? And he's a huge Michael Mann fan. So I went back and watched Thief again. And I was like, oh, it is the same. Snowcone just stepped out. He's probably pooping. But uh, I think he might You'd have to ask him, but I think he might have cable and watch stuff on demand. It says you can watch it on Apple TV to buy. Let's see. Oh, the Roku channel with ads. You can watch it on AMC Plus, three seasons. Wii TV has two seasons. It looks like if you do AMC Plus, you have to do it through either Apple or Prime. I still don't understand why they do that, but... I never watched the uh, Weird Al movie. It is good. I know it was on Roku. Do you have to pay for that, or can is it a free thing? Like, is there a membership for that Roku channel? Okay. Okay, gotcha. I was watching uh, the Caleb Dennison video on YouTube today, and uh, Snowcone, he said, of all the streaming devices, 
they're very similar. And he talked about the pros and cons of different ones, and the Prime app looks the best on Fire Sticks and blah, blah, blah. But he said, overall, the best one is Apple TV. And I was like, yeah. And he said, he's like, I was reluctant to like it because it was so fucking overpriced. I wanted to hate it. By far the best. And he's like, but it, it's it's it overall so the best one. Picture quality and everything else is the it. best. And I'm like, dude, it is the best. And he talked about being able to navigate. And I'm like, yes. Dude, when I have to watch it's something so on easy. Google TV or anything else, it's and I'm so trying easy. to fucking fast forward or whatever, it sucks. On Apple, you just, boom, hit pause, swipe wherever you want to go. Fast forwarding, the swiping. It, oh, it's so awkward. great. And once you get used to that, you can't deal with other ones like can't go back. two times, four times, six times, eight times. Like, fuck me. No, it's just so much easier to yeah, use. I, my mom will have me, like, help her with her remote sometimes, and I have to, like, fast forward, and it's like, Jesus, Jesus fucking Christ. I know. I wait around now. I know. And there's no ads on it anywhere. Not it's, a single ad. No, it's, it's, it's clutch. It's worth the money. As much as, yeah, you don't want it to be. It there. is overpriced. It's way for overpriced. Sure. That's fucking but Apple. That, that's Apple, you know. But I would say, like, it's even more overpriced than their phones. It, yeah, it is. But, man, it's fucking great. Or maybe I'm just saying that because I'm comparing it to the prices of other streams. I mean, what's, Roku's got a Roku. My brother's got the Roku Elite or whatever it's called. There's an expensive one. And I think he might have had to pay close to 100 bucks for it. Maybe he did pay 100 bucks for it. I don't really understand what the Fire Cube is. Is it, is it building in a DVR for stuff that you stream so you can record stuff? Like if you're watching yeah, something Yeah, the actual live. product, not the streaming service, Poncho. Yeah, I know. It's confusing. But the streaming service does have Severance, which I'm fucking excited for second season. Man, that show's so and good. And that new show with Gyllenhaal and his brother-in-law yeah. where he's a lawyer. Okay, the Roku the Ultra Severance is, a, is by far the 100 show. bucks. So there is, an, there is a $100 Roku. How much is an Apple TV now? They're like a hundred and for the top of the line one. They're like that would be like a hundred and eighty bucks. Let's see. Uh, yeah, hundred and seventy nine dollars or hundred and eighty bucks. I have a couple of fire sticks. I, the, both of the bedrooms have fire sticks. And I just feel like it's gotten worse and worse with time. More and more ads. Just less and less intuitive as they move shit around to make sure that ads are in front of your face. Yeah, and they, they get, they've gotten laggy. I don't know if that means I need new ones or what. But when I go to replace them, I'm just going to buy Apple uh, TV sticks, the cheap ones. I don't care if they're not 4K. I'd rather have that. So what does the Fire Cube do? Were you about to tell me? Because they're 140 bucks. I know that you can use Lady A with it. But doesn't it also act as some sort of a DVR? Yeah, Chromecast has gotten much better. It used to be fucking unusable. I mean, Google TV's gotten much better. It's still annoying, though. I think Roku still usually wins the, uh, when you see those polls, the user choice, people who are happiest with their streaming devices, Roku still wins. I've never owned one, but of course I've been around them many times. Everyone in my family has one. We bought a TV with Roku built in for my father-in-law, and it is nice and clean and simple. I saw somewhere that they have started to add a little bit of ads, and they never used to, but they said it's very minimal right now. You know what Prime does? And so Prime started charging that extra $3, two ninety nine or whatever it is, to watch commercial free, right? I'm not going to fucking sit there and watch commercials, so I pay the extra $3. I found out also that if you don't pay the extra money, you can't get uh, Dolby Vision, like they're limiting the types of uh, streaming qualities that you can get on movies and shows. They're going to start charging for all that on everything.
Yeah, Roku, the thing that I saw about the ad said, if you have a Roku, you probably haven't even seen one of the ads yet. It's extremely minimal. Paramount ads. Are you watching Paramount with commercials? Oh, yeah, I couldn't handle that, Poncho. I pay for Paramount because that's how I get Showtime. I would rather have Paramount with Showtime than Hulu and Disney Plus. I use it more. I should get rid of something. I need. I should probably get rid of Disney Plus. I still haven't started watching that Star Wars show. I sort of did, and I was like, I just don't know if I give a fuck. One of the things I notice on my Fire Stick and uh, Google TV is how long it takes to open apps, especially Netflix. You click on it. It, and then finally boom, boom. and with Apple TV when you open it it just boom opens right up yeah and I don't like that there's only five of them on that main page and that you have to go over and click to get to the rest of your apps just put all the apps that I use on the front page so let me keep scrolling at, at least. Oh, dude, that the whole reason I brought up the Prime thing is because I had to watch, I was watching that open range show and it was HDR. And it, I was like, dude, this looks like shit because everything else I've been watching for the last however long is in Dolby Vision. And then I read that they're, Samsung and uh, and Google, maybe? Samsung and somebody were working together on a new thing. Had some code name that they, but I looked it up and they still, from what I could tell, haven't released anything. So your choices are still HDR, HR10, and uh, Dolby. Well, there is one other. What's the other one? I can't think of it. Okay, so that's the thing about the Fire Cube is that it's voice activated. That's the, that's the uh, benefit. You're just talking to Alexa. She does it all for you. Because on Apple, you have to push the um, microphone first. It's not listening all the time. So you have to push the Siri button. Then you can say, hey, play this movie on Hulu, and it'll do it. But it's not sitting there listening. Now, the nice thing about, like, if you have an Android and you have Google TV, they work together. And if you have an uh, iPhone and an Apple TV, they work together seamlessly. I don't know how well it works with uh, Android. But Apple TV, I use my phone as a remote all the time. When I use it to search for stuff. I talk to my phone to do stuff on my TV. But I bought mine... During COVID, I had COVID. It was like the first time I got it. So that was probably 2020. It was because I was having problems with something. Must have been a fire stick. It was a fire stick. And it had frozen up. It had fucked up. I got super pissed off. And I got on Amazon to get another one. And then I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to buy this overpriced thing. I think at that time they were 160 bucks. What's up? Let me see. I'm still using my phone here. Disconnect. I'm, st I'm getting a full s signal strength now. Let's see. Yeah, boom. I got full signal. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate it. Okay, awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So I'll probably lose Twitch here for a second. Come on, Android. You can do it. Come on. There you go. And I'm back. Is Sneaky Sasquatch the one with the 
guy from Social Network. What's the one where they're all Sasquatches in the woods and there's like no dialogue? I only saw the trailer for it. It looked different. That Sasquatch Sunset? Wait, there's two Sasquatches? Yeah. So sneaky Sasquatch? And then Sasquatch Sunset? What sneaky Sasquatch? It's like it's so fucking weird. Right, yeah. Like that this is a thing people do? Yeah. Because I feel like now it's just become maybe because of that case in general, you kinda know it's a thing. An adventure game. Okay. Gotcha. And the other one's called Sasquatch Sunset? Right. Did you like it? Has anyone seen that one? Sasquatch Sunset? Did anyone watch that? Yeah. I'm very curious. Man, there's been so much stuff about it. Yeah, Jesse Eisenberg. That's the one I was talking about. Man Who Killed Sasquatch I've seen. Yeah, I played hide the Sasquatch many times. My dad taught it to me. Watched a review. What? It was expensive. I just assumed it was something that these guys made for nothing. It looked ridiculous. Hold on, I'm going to find a trailer for it. Who needs this going either still? Let's see. Leaker Street Media. From executive producer Ari Aster. That's what I want to know, Poncho. That's what it sounds like it is. They don't talk, right? Is it a comedy? Yeah, in the trailer, they're having sex. What's that? This Sasquatch Sunset movie. Have you seen trailers for that? It's Jesse Eisenberg. Looks like possibly the weirdest fucking movie of the last 10 years. Crunchberry, you hate Jesse Eisenberg? So does my fiance. Brooke hates Jesse Eisenberg. I don't understand it. I like him. I don't have any problem with him. I like, uh, I, for some reason, I feel like people used to compare him to Michael Sarah. Yeah, a little bit. And I like Michael Sarah better, I guess, but. I like him in that self defense movie or whatever. I don't remember that. I thought he was good in Social Network. What was that? that wasn't he in that Squid and the Whale or whatever? Yeah, he does have a weird sort of affect with his speech. Lazo, didn't you say, speaking of uh, Michael Sarah, didn't you say you just saw something that had Michael yeah. Sarah in it? What mm -hmm. was it? I remember he's like a brother. He goes home and visits his sister. Was it Holy Rollers? No. Give me another. The Art of Self-Defense. That's one you just watched? That's what you were talking about? That's uh, Jesse Eisenberg, 2019. I like that movie. Scott Pilgrim, Life of Christmas Eve in Miller's Point, Sacramento. Okay. Wait, so it wasn't one of these movies? You ready for part one? Or was one? it The Art of Self-Defense that you recently watched? With who? With Michael Sierra. No, Jesse Eisenberg. Oh, Jesse Eisenberg, Eisenberg right. I don't see anything. I'm trying to figure out what the Michael Sierra thing Michael would have been. Michael I'll tell you right now. Sacramento. No. That was 2024. Christmas Eve and Miller's Point was 2024. Life and Beth. That looks like that's a series. Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. Mm -hmm. Under the Boardwalk. Dream Scenario. Praise Petey. Command Z. Barbie. Black Mirror. The Adults. Was it The, the Adults? 
That looks like it could be what you're talking about. The yes. adults from 2023? Okay. Yep. We ready for part one? He's, uh, his hands on. on. Yeah, headphones. Headphones. Can time. Cans. I finished the Nikki Six book. It's it's pretty good, so I think you'd like it. Is that what you were listening to on Spotify, and they said you've hit your limit? I finished that. Right, so but I'm saying you I did use jo- that I started the John Bonet book, and that's when it said I ran up out of time. Interesting. But I think you'd like the Nikki Six one. But you said you didn't figure out what the time limit is. No, but I'm guessing Nikki Six books is like 11 hours, so I'm guessing it's 15 like 15 hours. Tw- or I'm guessing 12 it's like 12. Or, okay. Because I don't really listen to much else. All right, ready? Yep. Yo. Yo. What's going on? Well, we're doing the news, guys. Yeah, lots it's to exciting. talk about. And I mentioned that being a Chiefs fan lately has been pretty surreal because Kansas City gets mentioned a lot sure. in the national media. Hell, even internationally, the Chiefs get mentioned a lot. And now, one of the biggest producers Hallmark. of movies, successful movies, right. movies that everyone loves, that your mother watches during the holidays, back to back to back to back. Sure. They are now making a movie. About the Chiefs. Now, everyone thinks, oh, they're making a movie about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. No, 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 no. That's not what it is. Everything I've read said, very clear, that's not what it is. But it is a movie about the Chiefs and romance. So the folks over at the Hallmark Channel are already busy cooking up something special for the holiday season and for this little love story. They're mm. teaming up with the Kansas City Chiefs. I know what uh-huh. you're thinking. Yeah. The movie's called Holiday Touchdown, uh-huh. a Chiefs love story. Okay. But before you start playing Shake It Off in your brain, this is not about a pop star right. falling in love with the uh-huh. tight end for the Chiefs. Uh-huh. The setup is, is this. The actress Hunter King plays... Uh, a Kansas City super fan with her heart setting w- on winning the Fan of the Year contest. Now, the director of fan engagement, played uh-huh. by Tyler Hines, he's tasked with evaluating how her family measures up against other finals. They spend some quality time together. Mm. Maybe there's a spark or two. All right, so we're going to have to watch there this together, yeah, right? Yeah, that'd be fun. This will be a something we do together. Two. A spark or two. Maybe mm. there's a spark or two. So a Chiefs romance story, huh? I like it. Um, there's no trailer for it yet. I've been checking. The last one of those kind Who's of... Who's the woman who stars in it? I don't know that it says. I'll see if they put up an IMDb yet or not. But Did it say Hunter Schaefer? Huh? Did it say Hunter Schaefer? I think that's name. what they said. Is that... Hunter Schaefer is Jules from Euphoria. Oh, oh really? really? So that's who but that I don't is? Think, I don't think they said Schaefer. They said Hunter something. Oh. They play the clip again. Okay, hold on. Let's see what he says. You got to... Well, the folks carefully. over at the Hallmark Channel are already busy cooking up something special for the holiday season and for this little love story. They're teaming up with the Kansas City Chiefs. I know what uh-huh. you're thinking. Yeah. The movie's called Holiday Touchdown, uh-huh. a Chiefs love story. Okay. But before you start playing Shake It Off in your brain, this is not about a pop star right. falling in love with the uh-huh. tight end for the Chiefs. Uh-huh. The is setup is this. The actress Hunter King plays Hunter King. Uh, a Kansas Hunter City King. super fan with her heart yeah, setting. Okay. Hunter Schaefer's. So Hunter King, I'm looking at her. She's very pretty, but I don't recognize her. Mm, Ty- Tyler Hines plays Derek. How are they going to dress her down? And then Ed Begley Give Jr. Give her a mullet. Oh, Jesus. Well, she's a Chiefs fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make her have a dirty yeah. shirt. Yeah, big baggy Zumba pants or whatever yeah. they're called. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're, she we're falls over in love. Super Bowls. All right, worry about yourself over there. She I falls just... in love with Snowcone. He's wearing Give her a meth. he's wearing a wolf hat. <laughs> Just give her a bunch of meth. That's all they're gonna do. <laughs> like the first time I ever hung she's out. She's a meth with Snow actress, for Christ's sakes. Well, she might like meth already. We don't know anything well, about her. Well, she's Hunter gonna Kang. have to. I'm looking at her. She's gonna have to really get on it then. Yeah. If this is gonna be believable. She's very pretty. Um, yeah. I'm sure it'll be a good That's movie. How you, first thing you know, it is a Hallmark movie <laughs> real. When's the last time you heard the national media announce that uh, anything about a Hallmark movie that was coming up in six months? Like never. This is a big deal. The Chiefs are getting a ton of attention. I think the last cable movie that I watched, you know, that I don't know what you call that type of cable movie, but made for cable movie. It's Lifetime and Hallmark are the two networks. Mm-hmm. I watched that one that Kristen Wiig and, and Will Ferrell did, where they just played it straight the whole time. Well, well, what was that? He fell in love with the babysitter or something, and somebody mm. died. Do you guys remember yeah, that one? Yeah, oh. the babysitter, like... Uh, Kidnapped the kid, or in, like, kidnapped a kid, and like fell in love with Will Ferrell, and was yeah. trying to like murder his wife. And they and played it. Kristen Wiig and Will Ferrell both just played it totally straight, straight the whole, whole time. time. No and winking. It was, it was just a Lifetime movie. No winks at all. And I'd never really seen a Lifetime movie before that, but I'd seen clips, and it's about what I expected. I assume that that's what Hallmark movies are like, but I've never actually seen one. My mom mm. watches them all the time, 
Have you guys ever seen one? Well, I just went at your mom's house uh-huh, uh-huh, for the holidays. Uh-huh, uh-huh, for the holidays. I like to watch them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In the nude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Straight Pay a little extra nude. for the the premium Hallmark thing, right? Well, we just watch mm-hmm. them in the nude. Yeah. We'd like to drink some eggnog, watch them in the nude. Yeah. You know, I wish you had told me since you're over at my mom's house all the time that my mom kept getting kicked out of HBO because there was too many people on well, it. Well, we don't watch it. We watch Hallmark, so I wouldn't know. Well, she she likes to watch those, you know, home renovation shows and mm. stuff like that, all those discovery shows, and she watches them on Max. She kept getting kicked out. I was unaware of this well, I was a couple days ago, so I paid more for it so that now she can watch it and we can have four people on there. Oh, that'll be nice but, for us. But, you know, she, you need to tell me that stuff. She doesn't have a lot to do in the evenings. Oh, I wanted she's to be able busy. To, I wanted to be able to watch TV. Well, you know what else you could do? I want to get her, her some schedule of those, is full, as they say, I, stuffed. I want to get her some of those electric blinds. I need three of them. I think you could do that. I think that would be a nice thing that you could, you know, contribute because you take quite a bit, but I, you don't. Whoa, you don't contribute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know she enjoys your company. Yeah, I yes, contribute okay. a lot to okay. her happiness. I'm just saying. I'm over there a lot more than you are. You haven't given any Christmas gifts or birthday gifts in a I while. Know that. So she says you haven't. So I was thinking, because I to, haven't given her anything. We want to get the electric blinds, and I've been looking at them. They're not very expensive, and I thought, well, that's something Lazo could get. I gave her gonorrhea for so, her okay. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Snow gun like that one. He's <laughs> getting a kick out of it in there. Got the poop his pants. <laughs> moving on. Okay. We're moving on. Karen Reed. The Karen Reed trial. Mm-hmm. If you don't know much about the Karen Reed trial, then she's guilty it's, as hell. It's, it's, it's really too much against you. But she's accused of killing her boyfriend uh, a couple years ago. So he was a cop. The, the main crux of the story is, and people on Twitch are going to get mad at me, Crunchberry is going to get mad at me, but the main crux of the story is all these friends are out drinking. They go over to someone's house after the bar is closed down. It's late at night, right? Supposedly... Karen doesn't go. She goes home. But then her boyfriend never shows up. Where's my boyfriend? So she goes to the party to pick him up. When she gets there, this is where things get a little mm, confusing. Police say that she ran him over and killed him. And he laid there in the front yard and died after she ran him over. The police say, look, we've got pieces of her car. Here's some of the plastic from one of her taillights, so on and so forth. But her defense says, no, 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 the people inside that house killed uh, her boyfriend. Mm. And we have plenty of evidence that points to them, including searches that were made from inside the house late at night at about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. How long, which they just, you know, typo, they were trying to search, how long to die in cold? Why would you be searching that at 3 o'clock in the morning? Then there's also a lot of butt dials, a bunch of phone calls between these friends who were at this party, and they're all telling the police, like, oh, it was just a butt dial, just a butt dial. Oh, I never talked to him. It must have been another butt dial. There's and, six of them, right? Well, that other article said nine, so I don't know. But there's, there's a there's lot of There's 11 them. witnesses that says he never entered the home. Well, right, so. You 11. Know, it, the, there's, but. These, these phone calls, one of the really sketchy things about these phone calls is that when the police went to look at their phones, some of these people had deleted the calls from their call log. And, you know, mm. once the police plug in their computer, they can see that that stuff was deleted. So you know, people don't normally do that. That's, that's suspicious. The search from inside the house is suspicious. Our, our listeners on Twitch seems like they all seem to agree that if she it, did do it, that they don't have enough evidence, that it looks like she's innocent, Certainly there's reasonable doubt and that that's what the jury should decide as well. She does have, a, as they pointed out on Twitch, she does have a great defense team. Her main attorney is on TV a lot, and he's really good. He's the kind of guy where you go like, hmm, if I ever get in trouble, I need to hire that guy. So the juries Karen, are deliberating now. Are you feeling now. Court today? Right now? I, don't, I don't know if nerves are the right right word uh, anticipation the 44 year old is accused of killing then boyfriend boston police officer john o'keefe in 2022 with prosecutors arguing she ran him over with her suv outside the home of another officer in canton following a night of drinking accusing her of fleeing the scene and leaving him to die in blizzard-like conditions Okay, so you have these weird searches. Now, Crunchberry's still on here and still talking about this mm-hmm. and says, uh, oh, also about the car. I guess the taillight wasn't broken before they took the car in for the forensics, but it was after. I don't know if that's true or not. Also, Karen was leaving really pissed off voicemails to John because he wasn't coming home. If she were guilty, wouldn't she leave lovey voicemails? Like, honey, I can't get a hold of you. And I think that is a good point because that is one of the things that they brought up is that she was angry at him. And if someone kills someone and then tries to, you know, 
plant some evidence to make it look like they didn't do it, didn't know, they call and they say, hey, hon, I haven't heard from you. You're starting to worry me. You know, give me a call. Well, Whereas she was that. pissed. She could be very cunning. She's a white woman named Karen. Yeah. She's a very attractive 44-year-old white woman named Karen. So, Karen Reed. You know, who knows? Who knows? But Man, if, I was I on this, if I was on this jury, I'd say reasonable doubt. Snow cone? There's a mountain of reasonable doubt. Reasonable doubt. I saw a lawyer on TV guilty who did not charged. work for her. He's a court TV host. And he said that that one search, the search for how long to die in cold from inside the house, he said that on its own was enough for reasonable doubt, which I thought was interesting. I don't know exactly how the law she works. She looks like she hit but, someone with a car. Well, the uh, the autopsy showed that he was beaten to death, possibly attacked by a dog even. So, uh, you know, the defense has a lot of stuff that they put out there that I think looks like reasonable doubt to me. I haven't followed it as closely as some of these people on Twitch. I wish that Snow Cone had gotten into it. I tried to get him into it. But it's just like Game of Thrones or the Idaho thing. It takes a while to get him past that hump, get him over the hump. Once he's into it, he'll start researching. I'll tell you it. who it doesn't take long to get into the hump. We know, we know, we know, we know, we know. A parent. Yes, we know, <laughs> we know, we know. Hallmark Channel. Mm -hmm. Yes, just streaming. Saying. Kick that HBO. Gotcha. Yeah. Anyhow, Karen Reed, The uh, as far as I know, I'm, I'm checking for updates, and it looks like they're still deliberating. If the jury takes a long time to deliberate, that's usually good for the defense. That's the old rule. If they come back with the verdict quickly, it can be bad. But in a case like this, if they came back quickly, I think the jury might be, or the defense team might be like, yeah, there's so much reasonable doubt, they're just saying forget about it. Because it, there is a lot of sketchy stuff in this story, and I'm only scratching the surface. There's so many uh, elements to this, and the defense did such a good job presenting all of this stuff, and I think leaving people with reasonable doubt. Lazlo says guilty based on her skin color and name alone, which yeah. is fair. Which is fair, you know. Yeah, people people have judged other people that way for a long time, and we've made it, you know, a long way just uh, judging a book by its cover like that. So if you think you're good at judging a book by its cover, maybe Laszlo's better at judging people. And it says the prosecution look at them, then 80 of the there was a broken tail light. Right. Prosecutors are contending that I heard you say it. The, yeah. he hit her, she hit her with his Lexus. Yes, and she and they said, "Here's the tail making pieces. a three point turn, mm -hmm. and then drove away." But the defense said, "Wait a second, why were those tail light pieces not broken at this time?" There's there's some debate uh -huh. about the tail light being broken. At the very least, the defense is going to done a good job of making it not seem so black and white. Right. Where you start to go, I don't know. I'm starting to have reasonable doubt. I mean, really, it it reminds me a little bit of OJ. I think OJ's defense team did such a good job. If you actually watched that trial or, you know, watched documentaries about that trial, his defense team did such a good job. It feels similar to this. Maybe she's guilty, but if she is, her defense team has done an awesome job. And I would think that the jury's going to come back with not guilty verdict because of the reasonable doubt. But I wasn't there for the whole trial, so I don't know. True. Twitch, I think everyone on Twitch who voted this and paying attention said not guilty. Lazo's uh, the only guilty in the room. But it only takes one guilty in the room to get a, a hung jury, yep. right? If we, can't, if we can't change Lazo's mind, we may have to do this whole thing over. Yep. And if that happens, then Snow Cone, I expect you to get really interested in it. Deal. And that way you can tell me what the yeah, hell is going on. I don't see Deal. any information here. I just read a Washington Post article that changes mm -hmm. my mind. About what? Oh, you didn't see anything that changes your mind about her guilt? He's you say she's guilty? I think we're going to have a hung jury, boys. Hung jury, Ooh. mistrial. We'll do it again. Why so many butt dials? I didn't even get... I only got like halfway through that. Why so many butt dials? I don't remember making any calls. My assumption is that I must have put my phone in my back pocket and that was it. But records show there's three calls. Records of those missed calls came from an extraction of the phone record of those calls appear to have been deleted from McCabe's phone. Oh, that's what it was. That's right. O'Keefe's phone had the calls and then they could see that on the other persons they weren't there so they knew that they had deleted them. Yeah, I think they're guilty. He's guilty. Have you ever been on jury duty i know i've probably Never. asked you this before have you ever gotten the thing and ignored it mm -hmm. yeah me too well but each time they did it like once they sent it to my mom's house when i lived in seattle i was like well that's i'm not coming back to town for that right and then uh one time they sent it to my mom's house when i was like 35 years old and i was like i've not lived there in you know it was 20 years Fair enough and my brother said that doesn't matter the lawyer i was like how does that not matter they didn't send it to me and he goes it doesn't matter he goes you're aware of it and i was like 
the fuck are you talking about? They didn't send it to me. And he goes, but they sent it to mom's house. Mm. I'm like, yeah, no. She has no duty to mm-hmm. hand me mm-hmm. mail that's accidentally sent to her house 20 years after I moved out. Yeah. All right, what now? Tease part two. You can hear a lot of testimony on the Defense Diaries podcast. I'll probably read the transcripts, too. Oh, okay, I'll listen to that. I think okay, she, I'm interested. You think she's guilty, though, right? I really don't know. I, the, I have not paid super close attention to this. It is interesting, but there's so much. But when I see her defense, when I see her team on TV, and when I see them in court, it seems like they're doing a good job. She appears guilty to me. Why'd you say it's called Crunch Fairy? Uh, Defense Diaries? You just listen to it on the Odyssey app, I assume? Here we go. Defense Diaries. Okay. Massachusetts versus Karen Reed. The death of John O'Keefe. Yeah. I just finished that Custer thing, Snowcone. That was really long. Ooh, Nebraska versus Anthony Garcia. Is he the guy? Who's the guy that, uh, oh, no, that was in Florida. The guy who killed his wife uh, giving her liposuction? His trial's getting ready to start. The Lori Vallow one, I just feel like I've there's been there was so much Lori Vallow stuff, but you know what? It's been a while, so where is she? Boy, a lot of Delphi murders it just keeps going. What what's the um, Anthony Garcia one? Who who's he? Serial killer? This can't be him. Oh, this is him. 2023. Nebraska Supreme Court. Loses his appeal. Okay, so that's what that is. I'm tired today. It's old timey stuff. God, they got a lot of that. I think I'm going to be late tomorrow or missing an action somehow. All right, guys. Okay. It's Gio's birthday. Plus, he's got two baseball games. So, I'll text you tomorrow morning. Okay. Is that all right with you guys? Yep. You fine with that, Snowco? Good. Snow cones, fine with it. I've gone back a long way, Crunch Beret. I still don't see the. There's so much of this Nebraska stuff. Do people listen to all of this? These things are an hour long. Some of them are three and a half hours. Oh, here's all the Lori Vallow ones. Oh, these are all three hours long. What is it? What? Are, what are, are you? Are you lit? Is it actual court testimony? Is that what all this stuff is? You've listened to all of them? Oh, uh, I read the book that the John Wayne Gacy's uh, defense attorney wrote, and we all watched the documentary that he did for Netflix. He was in that. Okay. Well, I'm interested. I added it. I subscribe to it. So, thanks for the recommendation. Bill Hader was on uh, 
Paul Giamatti's podcast. That was a good episode. Oh, really? The tapes where they're sitting there talking? Like the actual tapes? I'd be interested in that. I'd kill a lot of time. I can't get the free books like Snowcone and everyone else can because I'm uh, I'm not the main Spotify account holder. It's it's Brooks. I'm a guest or whatever family, so they don't let you listen to the books. So Crunchberry, I just go back and look for the one that talks that says Gacy. What's the podcast called? Oh, really? Uh, Defense Diaries. Geely, is that how you said it? Geely? I just did that in Garden State. Uh, defense Diaries. The rest is us. Biden is losing the election. Okay, no politics. So I need to listen to these Karen Reed things in order, probably. Boy, that's a lot. Maybe not. I don't, I don't have anything else to do. All right, we ready? Let's get out of here. I'm ready to go. He's putting in this segment. Well, that's what I get what you're saying. That's like that accused show that Lazo and I watched on A&E. It's all the prosecutions uh, or all the defense's side. So you see these people and you're like, oh, man, I feel bad for this person. And then after you watch the show, you read about it. And some of them were super guilty. But you're only getting the defense's side of the story. They put that back up on Hulu like maybe there was going to be another season of it. But I don't think there has been yet. A&E needs to do a better. If A&E had a better app, I would pay for it. But it doesn't have enough shit on it. Guilty or Innocent, full episodes. That was a good show. I think Lazo got me into that. There's six seasons of them. There's not that many on Hulu. You hear a lot of Jenny McCabe, like what you hear a lot about her.
Okay. And does she make it seem like Karen is innocent? Because she's bad? Well, that's what I mean. Like, is she believable? <clears throat> Sounds like you're saying no. Did you say Lazo? Oh no, you signed up for um. What's what's it called? What what kind of cable did you get? A well, sling. Yeah, a sling. And do, so, do you still use it? I do. You like it? What's that sling? It's just like any cable. Like live TV through Hulu or YouTube TV. Yeah. Why don't we have cable? It won't connect to anything. They fixed the internet in here a little while ago, so my phone started working. This fucking... 
TV, Google TV piece of shit. It won't let me look at available networks. Tease part two? What? Are you ready for a tease part two? Um, finishing editing part one. One second. There you go. Get yourself a Toyota Land Cruiser starting at 62.9. As equipped, 79. What's Tiki Live? I want to see Tiki Live. We can't see anything because this fucking TV won't connect. Tiki anything. Live looks good, doesn't it? Well, we can't get it to do anything. If I move the TV, will it start getting signal? I might have to just restart it. I have, though. It's full signal over here now. We want Tiki Live. Tiki Live, baby. What happens on there? I can't see it. You'll love it. There we go. Full restart again. I mean, the Tysons and Android. I don't know what the problem could be. Two great takes. And of course, I bought my TV last year, and now I saw on Woot a couple days ago you could get a LG OLED 55 inch for 780 bucks. Piss me off. Well, don't be upset. It sucks. Hey, wait. It's connected. Now, do you want to see what Tiki Live is? Yes. All right, for fuck's sake. And then can we see Court TV? No. Well, it depends on if Tiki Live's good or not. But I we feel know like it's, it's going to be good. That's the problem. How can it be bad? Tiki Live. They got a good logo. They got a good name. I assume it's girls dancing in hula skirts. Yeah, at least showing us around Hawaii with pretty ladies. Right? Is that girl that you were talking about that you thought maybe Carson Daly said, is that the trans girl from uh, Euphoria? Oh, he can't hear me. Oh, it doesn't do anything. What? No, yeah. it does something. It just, it tried and then it crashed. Maybe it needs some updates. Let's get a used Apple TV stick for in here.
Because I like to sit here at night and watch movies. No, it's just free movies and live channels. And for us, it's nothing. Come on, baby. Do something. Ugh. Oh, this keeps crashing. And the TV's frozen. Well, go to court TV then. Well, now it's frozen. Well, fuck you. Fucking piece of shit. Are you done editing? Jesus Christ. Talk about slow. I could have done it with a reel to reel and a fucking razor blade by now. Fucking re. Whoa, whoa. I didn't, oh, say, oh, oh, oh. I didn't say anything. Hey, is the new Mad Max movie available to stream now? Go. Poncho, get me that. I need the Furiosa. Chick Mad Max. Okay. <coughs> check, I'm going to throw this check. fucking thing across Dude, the room. it sucks, I know. It I just sucks. wanted to see Court TV. It's fucking that remote and TV sucks. All right. Tease part two. Yo. Yo. Let's doom scroll in a minute. Yeah, we're going to finish. Yeah. Oh, boy. There's a guy in the news. He got caught. Uh, he got caught doing something that I used to. Did you ever impersonate a police officer? I have not. In no way, shape, or form. You never told someone like, "Hey, I'm a cop. Let me in." You never. I think so. Had one of those like fake badges and tried to flash it to someone. I, I never did that. You never put lights on your car and tried to pull people over. No. Mm. Well, I'm some not a serial killer. Some or a people rapist. do that. Some people do that. And this guy you got do caught. It. And the way he got caught is like you also something have porcelain dolls in your basement. Like something out of a movie. Also, Infowars may be no more. Oh boy, yeah. what am I gonna do then? I know. So you're gonna find something new to watch, and that's why I was trying to download some new apps because every app on our TV in here is Infowars well, related. Something's on right now. Uh, yeah, but it's all Infowars stuff. I I, I gotta get new stuff because there's TNA wrestling's on right now. Off. Look, man, if they sell Infowars off, you should be the host. If T Alex Jones has to I sell it that. off. And, I'd be good at it. And file for bankruptcy. You should be the host, man. Hey, there's TNA Wrestling on right now. TNA Wrestling. There we Let's go. Let's watch it. Enjoy TNA Wrestling, and we'll come back and finish the news here in a second. What app is that? I don't know. Whatever the free TV thing is, it's on all the smart TVs. Yeah. Wrestling. Look at these two guys. Eat his ass. Well, that guy's scary. Why is he so scary, Slim? Because this is impact wrestling, dude. This is not regular wrestling. Look at that. Look yeah, at that. son. That ref, when his kids say, what does your dad do? His kids get to say he's a ref for impact wrestling. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. What do my kids say? A fucking idiot. Your kids say, I don't, we don't think he works. He's always with us. <laughs> he's an idiot. Now it's switching to Discovery. I was in the God damn it. This is a Hisense fucking thing where they've teamed up with Discovery to launch the Discovery login. I'm trying to watch Once Impact every Wrestling. Fucking, dude, it, this is so fucking annoying. This is why I can't use Google TV at all. Well, oh, I haven't TV. been to Pornhub lately. Let me look. Can I still get it? I don't want Discovery. Plus, fuck you and your bullshit. Pornhub.com. Exit, motherfucker. Oh, you can't get it. What? Dear user, as you may know, your elected officials in Texas. No way. What? I want to say Texas. They just are like, yeah, I just put the same thing up there we put up in Texas. There's more people there. No, I've got it. Pornhub.com. Well, let me do it. I've There's girls... leaking things out of their bodies right in front of me. I'm, I have no problem. It just showed right up. Yours mm -hmm. actually says that? Aren't you on the same network I'm on? I'm on my wife. Or, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not on the network. You're, oh, this is on your phone? Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Also, this video. Hey, you on, on Twitch, go to Pornhub and see if it works for you. If you live in Kansas. Oh, man. This is a new video. <laughs> Here's a little download helper for this sucker. 1080p, please. Mmm. I like those shoes, ma'am. Got a pair myself. 
Now that's a good wife or girlfriend there. She's a giver. Hmm. It says it works everywhere. Why is it not? Yours says Texas? Mm-hmm. That's really fucking weird. And it's just your phone. Let me try. Did you just open Safari or what did you do? I just opened Safari. Let me try. Where's Safari? I never use Safari. Safari. Pornhub. Oh, yeah, I use Safari for OnlyFans. Pornhub. Oh, I went to Pornhub. It works, but let's see about Pornhub. I'm 18 or older. Boom. Pornhub. Oh, my gosh, that's... Who's that? This person got the same message as me, so it's not for... I wonder if it's like where you're... I don't understand. Wouldn't they just be using... If it's in Kansas, then any IP from Kansas should be disabled, right? Maybe it's just going in today or something. And... I've got all this Pride Month stuff that says, Welcome to Pornhub. It's Pride Month. Oh, I'm on AT&T, too. Aha, uh -huh. so it's an AT&T thing. Because I've got T-Mobile. It's not causing any issues. Well, and I can go to it from my computer here at work. Okay, well, that's super weird. I mean, that, right. does, that does mean that it's coming, right? Well, I don't know. Okay. What about your Are phone? Ready? Try your phone. You have Sprint, right? Oh, you have T-Mobile because Sprint's gone. Uh, it worked last night for me. Well, try yeah, but try it right now. He can't get to it. Okay. On Safari. Looks good to me. Oh, I need to save that one. Yeah, I downloaded I a couple things myself. I get distracted gracious. easily. Karen Reed is single, right? Now that her boyfriend's dead. Okay, so Popsicle Six says works on Wi-Fi, just not on the AT&T network. Okay, I need to save those. What two. the hell? Why would that be? Are there any the news stories about girl. it? Oh, that's. You want to buy the best weed in the state of Kansas? <laughs> I have to fucking hear that motherfucker one more time. Oh yeah, that's the thing you guys said you heard all the time. Oh my time. god! And what it did it play before and videos? You know, click in the videos down below, <laughs> like the suggested. I'm like, oh, that looks better. I click on that. You want to buy the best weed in the state of Kansas? Like, dude, I'll fucking kill you. Can't, can't you just put an I ad? I jack off to him. That'll show him. Can't you put an ad blocker on your phone? I say, watch this, and then I masturbate to him. <laughs> Looking I, to buy the best weed in the state of Kansas? I'm on my cell. Not on Wi-Fi. And on my cell, it said it gave me a Texas warning. So I don't really understand. You have VPN on or something? That's no. what I'm wondering. I mean, his phone is based. He's got a uh, Seattle area code still. Yeah. That's where the phone was activated. But that, that shouldn't matter. Lots of people. But Popsicle that, Stick right? says when she went on Wi-Fi, it worked. But when she went just on AT&T, it didn't. Yeah, so there's something going on there that AT&T has already started blocking it. I guess. I mean, why would AT and T? I don't understand any of it. No point in even speculating. And does yours say the Texas thing, popsicle sticks? It's like they just put it up and just forgot to change the word Texas to Kansas. Huh. Oh, I, should, I took Cialis today. I shouldn't be looking at this. Okay. How distracted News. these guys get when we're when they see porn? Really fucking distracted. Okay, part two. Here we go. Yo, yo! I got news for you. Yeah. I just tried to go to Pornhub. It won't let me. Yeah. So this is weird. You tried on your phone. Yeah, I went on my Safari, phone. Safari. On Safari, and it said due to Texas laws, which is weird. We don't have itself. a VPN. Right. Your phone lives in Kansas. You live in Kansas. I do. I think AT and T knows that you live in Kansas. I went on my laptop here at work. We are in the state of Kansas here, and I had no problem. Snowcone and I have T-Mobile. We used our phones. No problem. But right. someone on, on Twitch, Twitch. Popsicle Stick, she says she has AT&T like me, and she got the Texas message. But then when we both went on Wi-Fi and not on the AT&T network, it worked. So 
So they must just be implementing it now, I guess, like today maybe. But it actually went through. So wait, what are you going to have to do in Kansas? I'm sure Missouri's going to do the same thing. So I'm not making. I don't know fun. how you look at porno now. But you have to put in a driver's license number or something. I have no idea. I'll never. I don't even think you I can. will never look at porno legally again. Then I mean, for, that's just uh, no. That's ridiculous. We need to get that lawyer back on the show. It's happening to us now, Lazo. We need that lawyer back on the show, and we need his I help. I can't look at porno. How do we stop this? We need him back. He was he was good. He defended a lot of people. He was trying to stop this. What was his name, Snowcone? Yeah, but it wouldn't be AT and T stopping. That's it. That's what I thought. I AT and T wouldn't stop it. Like it's that message comes from Pornhub, not right. from AT and T. Exactly. It, it would, I don't understand why AT and T would have any reason to say, "Well, we'll play it safe and we'll block this stuff well, first. It no, doesn't matter. Pornhub blocks but wait, it. it. They couldn't because the message is from Pornhub. That's what I'm saying. It's, but I'm saying it's not AT&T. It that's doesn't what, say that's AT&T. We're, right. So that's it's not saying. AT&T. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I know you're saying, why would they? they exactly. They didn't. It says porn, from Pornhub, right. your user. Right. So at and not involved, except for the fact that people it, using AT&T are getting a block. Can't get it. But, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand this, so it's not even really worth speculating. But can AT&T set up something with their network where they say, okay, now we're complying and letting these... Uh, porn sites know that we're in Kansas and that the laws have been implemented. I wouldn't think so. That seems ridiculous. And, and you would think that if that were the case, then if Pornhub's letting everybody else come in, right. then that message would come from AT&T, not Pornhub. Right. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we can look it up online. I didn't know that the law had officially gone through yet. I knew that it, it had passed and that they said the governor wasn't going to sign it, but it didn't matter because it had a super majority or whatever the hell they call it. She couldn't Mom, I go so for it. my work computer, it's fine. So it looks like it's going to start being blocked, though, right? I wouldn't be surprised if on computers it's blocked soon. I guess we'll see. Uh, how do you look at porno if you live in Kansas? You have to look at it illegally again. How how how's, how do you do that? Well, it's not all the you. sites, right? It's no. In those states, I think all the porn sites are all like, the sites. Yeah, I think so because they get sued if they don't. Well, I thought. Do you, do you just have to like submit your driver's license to like the other some sites? some states like Louisiana is like at a principle right, right? Louisiana gives their own number that you use because the law it's just doesn't porn. ban porn it just means you have to submit your ID and at a principle Pornhub says we're not it gonna says do it. Right. if the website has majority porn which they have this thing they right. come up with and they said websites will probably start to offer a bunch of stuff that nobody uses just so they can say it's not a majority right. porn like a bar selling chips to say yeah, look we have yeah, food yeah. so. I don't know if that's happening yet, but those sites that are majority porn, I'm pretty sure, are blocked in those states because otherwise they get sued. They right? can get sued, yeah, and they don't want to get sued. So, and they're also well, I don't know if they will or not. Yeah, like I, I don't know if they'll block that. it or not, but Pornhub for sure. I guess. Let we me try. Seen. What's another porn site? Well, they're all owned by. What's one that's not owned by them? X Hamster. X Hamsters. My How do I spell I, that? X, the letter X, and then the Hamster. Hamster.com. I don't think they're How owned by Pornhub. Hamster. H A M S T E R. H-A-M-S-T-E-R. I don't think they're owned I by Pornhub. I think that's Pornhub. one that's not owned by Pornhub. But I mean, most Pornhub of them owns are. owns like 80% of them. Yeah, but... The, well, and, x Hamster works. Okay, there, you, there go. you go. So That's a good one. You got right. porn, buddy. Sure. Lots, lots of Paneo stuff on that. All right, good. Okay. Well, then that was fine. Moving on. A lot of good amateur, on. though. Moving a lot of good on. what? A lot of good amateur. He likes to watch dudes in their bedrooms, uh, you know, <laughs> submitting stuff to Reddit, whatever. <laughs> no kink shaming. Uh, anyhow... Yeah, how do you look up Reddit porn? I've never even looked at Reddit porn. Every, I'll there's teach you. subs I'll for teach you all yeah. the ways. Okay, yeah. I don't know how Whatever to do it. Whatever you're into, if you like pennies, go to reddit.com slash r slash pennies. Can everybody tell what I'm looking at? No. Only if you subscribe if you comment, to it. No, oh. if you comment or you make a post. No, no, okay. no, but if he subscribes to something and he's on there a lot upvoting things, even if he doesn't comment, I think it can say when someone goes to visit his page, it'll, it'll show, say he's active in oh, these active communities. In community. So don't, yeah, join I don't join them. any of them. Don't join okay. them. You just, just go look. Go to the home page and go to the search bar and then start typing in pantyhose, like whatever. Our pantyhose. Then there's like pantyhose porn. And then there's it'll say not everything. safe for work. Like you'll see which ones are porn. So whatever that's... you're into, my friend. Oh, whatever man, I got a list I can give you. And I'm a moderator on five or six of them. Are you really? Point, so I started a few of them myself. Why mm-hmm. not? You know. So the news uh, Hallmark movies. We already talked about the Hallmark movies. The uh, the uh, news site that we used to use to get all of our headlines, InfoWars. I mean, that's where we got all of our news. Snowcone used it. Lazo used it. I used it because we want the truth. It's hard I to find the produce truth. Produce on it part time so, for free. Yeah, that's how, that's how Snowcone got his start, actually, mm-hmm. in the industry was at InfoWars. He owes Alex Jones a debt of gratitude. For free. But InfoWars may be shut down. I'm reading headlines now that says mm. InfoWars will be shut down, that the trustee in Alec Jones' bankruptcy case says it's as good as 
done. As good as dead. We are just yeah. learning that a bankruptcy court trustee is planning to shut down and sell off InfoWars, Alex Jones's media company and popular conspiracy site. Uh, the move is supposed to help Jones pay off the $1.5 billion in legal fees that he owes the families of the victims of the Sandy Hook massacre for calling the event a hoax. Buy it, Laszlo. Buy it. If it's for sale, buy it. You could be the new Alex Jones. I like it. How much is it? He had a nice Dodge Challenger. I saw him in an interview. How much is I it? think he made good money. I don't know yet, but I'm sure they'll take whatever. Find out. Yes, I'll buy Snow it. Cone, find out. You we'll used to own work there. InfoWars. We'll be the new host of InfoWars. I like it. I don't want to say that Sandy Hook was a hoax, though. I, I, don't, mean, I, don't, I don't like I don't like that. I don't love it. Yeah. I don't like the idea, but I mean, no. money's money. I know, but can we just stay away? I just, I'm well, saying we can like do that's... a lot of bad things. Can we stay away from that? Well, that's past anyway. Well, but if it happens again, can what? we not Sandy deny Hook? it? If there's another school shooting, can we not deny those? Oh, we have to. We can just not talk about them. We can just like not talk about happen? it. Oh, man, you yeah, can. just like act like it's not news. Just not talk about it. But I mean, I don't it, want, it made him sell it. You can't do right, it. Right. I don't no. want to deny that stuff. There's no point in buying it if you're going to make the same mistake, right? Yeah, good point. Good point. That's what made him popular. No, I think he was pretty mm, popular pretty before. Popular. Mm. He got those yeah. bumper stickers all over stop signs or something. Everywhere. All over my neighborhood, they used to have those stupid stickers. I mean, I'm partially responsible because, you know, I got a stack of them myself. Mm. But it's like, okay, eventually it's like, this is a lot of damn stickers. We all know what InfoWars is by now. A guy in New Orleans was impersonating a police officer and pulling people over. Now, I did this in high school. Lazo acts like this is the craziest thing ever and that it makes you a serial killer or something. But I bought some of those lights from the J.C. Whitney catalog, which back in my J.C. Whitney? Yeah, it was, a, it was a catalog that sold all kinds of cheap accessories for your Never car. Never heard of it. You could get, you know, different weird hubcaps for your car. You could get... I had a PA system in my car that we installed under the oh, hood where you talked really on a popular. microphone. And we would talk... Mr. You know, microphone? Yeah, we would drive by... I drove by one time. This Every is a true story. Every kid school had one of those. That was really popular. I drove by a funeral home with my buddy. Now, I'm being honest here. I really thought it was a wedding. I just see all these people coming out, and they're dressed up, and it's it's sunny outside, and they're all dressed up. Don't, so don't I slowed down, story. and I said, hey, beautiful day for a wedding. Congratulations to the bride and groom. What a beautiful day. That was really it. And my best friend sitting next to me goes, dude, read. Damn it. No, that's a funeral home. That's an effing funeral home. And I was like, oh, my God. So you I felt bad that. about that. I did not know. I don't believe him for a second. I did not know. You do that right after Why would I rocks? say beautiful day for a wedding? If I was going to make fun of a funeral, I'd be like, he deserved to die. Good way to do it. Deserved to die. Well, I don't think well, you have to go that, that aggressive. Right. Huh? How was that funny? No, I wasn't funny trying to be would... funny. I was trying to destroy being... things. I was trying to tear down the world at that age. Being funny would be like, it's a beautiful day for a wedding That's when it's a joke. funeral. That's what yeah. makes it funny. I did not know, know it was a funeral did. home. I didn't know it was a funeral oh, home. you did. Dude, I would tell you if I knew it was a funeral home. I did not know. Amazon Prime Days. Everybody well, cares. You, you, you don't wonder why you want InfoWars. Was it you're a, a bad person. It wasn't a church. It was a funeral home. Okay. Yeah, well, what you think right. it was like? I didn't know that. I'm driving by, and I see a bunch of people in a parking lot in suits and dresses and stuff. So I thought, oh, someone's getting married. I didn't know there was a funeral home over there. Then did you it go in there and crap in their purse, sell them rocks? No, I didn't sell them rocks. Jeez, man, I was so young when I did that. And that was just a, a, a gag. You know, uh, Brooke, she sold rocks door to door, too. So you act like Crap that's rocks. so crazy. Yeah, different oh, rocks. Okay, okay, okay. Amazon really Amazon announces their Prime Days. Them. Yeah, well, Amazon deal. just Keep announced them. dates for this year. Again, this is their hallmark sale of the year, and it's going to take place July 16th and July 17th, so three weeks from now. You're and as a reminder, a these are going to be deals that are only available to members of Amazon Prime, so there's going to be those deep discounts, but only if you're forking up that $139 a year. There are some discounts for students and others as well, but again, it's going to cost you some money. Okay, guys, you're all Prime members, I assume, because you're all privileged white people. So, do you want to know what the I'm prime? I'm just a boy. Mm, he did the boy. <laughs> French fried daters. Selling rocks. French fried daters and rocks. <laughs> if you want an Amazon Fire TV, of one of their crappy TVs, they'll be on sale, deeply discounted. If you want a Vizio uh, non 4K TV, you can get that for 138 bucks. Mm, Actually, maybe we should deal. buy that for in How here. How big is it? Uh, I don't know. Where does it say? TV Smartcast, Chromecast. It doesn't say. Where's the size of it? Wait, 24 inch? Oh, that's well, not that's cheap. a computer monitor. What are we talking about here? An Amazon Fire TV 65 inch. We can get that on sale for seven hundred dollars. That doesn't seem like that good of a deal. No, seven hundred dollars yeah, for buy, a TV? I wouldn't buy one of those. It's 60, 65 inch. Yeah, but they're so cheap now. And it's an Omni. It's an Amazon Fire Omni. Like that's not even. That's not. I don't think. That, well, anyway, oh. Apple AirPods second gen, eighty nine dollars, thirty one percent off. Okay. I'm looking at these deals. I feel like these are the same prices that are already on their website. So maybe I'm misreading something. But look, Prime Days is the 16th and 17th, if you care. Uh, Walmart Days just happened. Man, that was a that was a killer sale. 
killer. I'm serious, man. God, they get? had so much stuff. I wanted to buy Some this electric. Pastries. I wanted to buy this electric bicycle, but I didn't have the money. But got a little uh, espresso maker thing. Oh, and a, nice. Yeah, but man, these electric bicycles are so cheap. Just need some money. If I had InfoWars and I had some money, I would have well, bought that. They'll sell rocks door to door. It didn't work, Lazo. That's why I say it was so well, you're brief. Better now. You talked about it much longer than it ever actually went on. For Christ's sake. Ben Affleck. Crap in purses. Ben Affleck. Might pay you for that? <laughs> ben Affleck. I will. <laughs> yeah, crap in a purse. I'll give you 100 bucks. <laughs> right here. I want to see it. <laughs> you, and then nope. put it in a... You're not allowed to in Kansas. <laughs> then put it in a... Nope. Due to Texas law, you're not allowed to in Kansas. <laughs> then put it in the kitchen. Nope. Not allowed to. With a note that says found. <laughs> ben Affleck got mad at the paparazzi. He said, get the hell away from yeah. me. And I think, get you know what? Him. You should get away from him. Leave Ben Affleck alone. He's a national treasure. F Don't off. Don't flash your light on someone's driving down their time. Don't do that. That's dangerous. You don't even know if that's me. You're causing accidents. But you're right. Stop, you're right. man. Okay. It's dangerous what you guys are doing. Do you understand? Yeah. I can't see. You're going to get somebody hurt doing this. My daughter's coming down here. If you flash the lights on her, you're putting her in danger. Do you understand that? Okay, now see. What happened? That was a little different. What happened? Alec Baldwin. Were. He thought the paparazzi got too close and they were hovering around and they were flashing lights and, and it's blinding. And it was you're dangerous. Trying to drive, it's dangerous. You're trying to back out or back into the... or drive into the driveway and you got all these lights flashing. It's dangerous. And... I thought, you know, obviously we, I think, all agree that that would be very annoying that we could see ourselves yelling. I thought, what would Alec Baldwin do in this situation? Alec Baldwin would have gotten arrested. Yeah, uh, shoot the woman who works on the film. <laughs> right, and then he would have punched all these paparazzos or yeah. whatever, and he would have gotten arrested. Ben Affleck actually did a good job of, I think, being I mean, restrained. I love they, him. He sounded like a little bitch, though. What? He it's did? It's dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's time to get out of here. He knows that whatever he says is going to be broadcast. I know, now. but like you're being, it's dangerous. It's not dangerous. Just tell him to get the hell out of there. Maybe it is They're dangerous. Annoying. It's not dangerous. I don't know. He said it's dangerous. They were dangerous What you're actions. doing is dangerous. They're outside of his house hey, and they're flashing these dangerous. lights. They just have cameras. Shut stay up. Stay away from his Beverly Hills mansion, okay? Yeah, stay away. And he should say, stay away. Stay My daughter's away. here. Yeah. I and hate J-Lo's you. in there. Yeah, I hate you. Get out of here. We're I'll trying not to ass. get divorced. Oh, that's good, but not... What you guys are doing is very dangerous. Well, they're... That's I, so weak. They're at the dr because he's trying not to Shut be your Alec sauce Baldwin. Box. He's trying not to be Alec Baldwin. He's thinking, "Don't get arrested, Ben. Don't get arrested." Yeah, but he you comes can hear off it like in his I'm... voice. You can Look, hear I love it. Ben Affleck. I'm his number one fan. Uh, I'm just saying the whole. You're talking bad it, about him. It's just we it's don't do dangerous. That. It's like you know. Yeah, he's being serious. It's he's dangerous. He's not. It's okay? not dangerous. They're cameras. Cameras aren't dangerous. Uh, Lazo, I don't know anything about baseball. Who the hell's Ryan Green? Ryan Green. Yeah. No, no. Oh, well, I saw this story, and I was like, oh, it's a baseball story. Lazo will know it. The, these announcers, people are speculating that Ryan Green might, must be taking hormones because he's getting so jacked. And I thought, oh, I don't know what any of this means, but Lazo will know. But if you don't know what it Take means, Take a look then. at some of these swings. Look, look at this. He's a big dude. Look at those arms. Yeah. Yeah. What are you for? That would have been a double flush. Phillies, I think? I was going to mention that, but yeah. Oh, I was just going to ask you if you thought that he was on, um, you know, the old uh, I'm sure. human growth hormones. I'm sure. Mark McGuire. I just call it the old McGuire method. They call it the McGuire method. And honestly, as a kid growing up watching Mark McGuire, it was more I, fun and I hated the Cardinals. But, God, it was fun to watch him. Yeah, all those home runs. I don't understand why these guys aren't allowed to do yeah, what they want. It's their body, their juiced. choice. It's I agree. their body, their choice. If the pitcher wants to take roids, take roids. And all this talk like roids are bad. Everything's bad, okay? Yeah, Whatever. No, you're right. Burnt, Everything's bad. Burnt toast is a carcinogen. Okay, it fine. Is. Eating then, ass ain't good for you. Exactly. Nor norovirus, it. stinky's uh, poison. It's poison, Snow uh, Cone. Yeah. It's poison. My doctor said so. Have a little fun sometimes. My doctor said so. It's poison. That's why he uh, puts no, on You've gloves. always been so concerned about putting puts things on in your gloves. body that are bad for you. I'm okay. saying I do bad things. No, yeah, we're no, saying no. the opposite. If we're you just pay saying attention. all these things that you people do, they're still bad for you. Yes, oh. and so why don't they just let these guys take their steroids, do and the old McGuire method, and make baseball great again? That's my thing. Make baseball great again. And Lazo's a fan of, of baseball, and I think yeah, he would I'm agree. Make baseball roids. great again. Now, I'll end on a positive segment. Some uh, of your Michigander uh, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Brothers. They saw a raccoon choking on some cheese. Now, what would you do if you saw a raccoon choking on some cheese? A raccoon choking on some cheese. Yeah. I mean, it, it maybe. How would it. I know it was cheese? Well, you saw maybe saw it eat a piece of cheese, and then it starts going. Ah, ah, oh, I see. Ah, so I'm yeah. watching it. It's eating yeah, cheese. Yeah, look at that cute thing. It's eating cheese. Eating cheese, and it starts to choke. Yeah, yeah. 
What do you do? I walk away. You just walk away and act like I you don't never care saw about it, right? That Snow cone hits I it with a baseball bat. Yeah, Lazo kicks it. Well, these <laughs> Michiganders. Sir, you're right. These Michiganders decided to perform the Heimlich on a raccoon and save this creature's life. That's he right. Is choking though. A little bit lower, Bill. Upward motion. There you go. There it is. Life, dude. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's hilarious. It is. I'm sorry, but it is really funny that this guy is sitting there trying to perform the Heimlich, and you can tell his buddy is not really concerned whether or not the raccoon lives or dies. Sure. But he's, you know, he's trying to support him. He's like, "Keep going there, Bill. There you go, a little harder." And then when it actually works, you just hear that laugh of like, yeah. he's there he's having a good time. I can't believe it worked." Well, you can't believe it worked, and I thought, "Well, God, if I saw a raccoon choking on cheese." I wouldn't think to go over there and try and save it. Now I know that that's the right thing to do. I got to go over and help that animal. I got a possum this big living by my porch. Oh, really? Oh, man. It's, the, si- it's the size of a dragon. Freaks Danielle out. Feed Danielle, him. that's my ex. Freaks oh, broke out. Oh, man, you out. just called your girlfriend your ex-wife. Oh, oh to hell. man. Go to hell. Go my to God, hell. Don't yell at us. You just did it. I'm telling myself, go to hell. You just did it. God you did. It. You called your fiance your hell. ex-wife. I've done it before. She's called me her boyfriend's name before, Ooh. too. Yeah, but that's when you're... Jesus Christ. That's you when know. we're what? Giving it to her. She's role playing. No, yeah. she doesn't. She never called me her ex boyfriend's name while we're having sex. I would imagine that's all she calls you. No, she does <laughs> but not. But you just did this about no, you know, she, nothing. No, she does it just about nothing like that. Yeah, right. And you go, oh, okay, you know, try not to do that. Anyhow, we've talked yeah. long enough, I think. Let's no, see if I we can get this TV to work. Your fiance, Let's see if we can get this TV to your work. Your ex wife's name. We're done. Let's you move on. Your hey, fiance. I heard you. I heard you. You heard me. We're moving on, okay? I, you know, my mom calls me my brother's name all the time. It runs in the family. Your Snow, mom's Snow not Cone, married to your buttons. brother. Push the button, <laughs> Snow Cone. I don't even get court TV, God damn it! This remote sucks. Sucking on a chili dog, raccoon, God choking on it. cheese. Now that's going to be in my choking head on for three days. Choking on a cheese, choking on a cheese. A eat. raccoon just choking on cheese. <laughs> choking on it. Oh, yeah. Did you see they're Raccoons doing a... Raccoons choking on cheese. I saw something that said they're doing a biopic about Springsteen with Lip. Did you see that? Is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I did see oh, that. Yeah. And they, and, and yeah, they said he's... A picture of him thing. looked great. I that's didn't see it. I just saw something that said he was going tr- he was gonna try and sing. Oh, okay. Instead of doing the voiceover thing. Raccoons. So is it that's a choking movie? Choking on cheese. Or is it a series? Choking on cheese. Choking on cheese. Kind of weird. I feel like they usually make the biopic after someone's died, right? Choking on cheese. Oh, yeah. He choked on my cheese. <laughs> Saved his little life when he was choking on the cheese. Raccoons choking on, on cheese. cheese. Grabbing it with their thumbs on their knees. Choking on cheese. Trooper. Proctor. I want you to sing it like Baby Reindeer. Hey, Crunchberry, who's sing, Trooper Proctor? Sing Choking on Cheese in the Baby Reindeer voice. Choking on cheese. Oh, he's choking on cheese. He's choking on the cheese. <laughs> Chili dog. Oh, I love that. That made me laugh. That was really good. Oh, thanks, baby reindeer. <laughs> baby reindeer always makes me smile. He's got the cutest little button nose. <laughs> what happened with her lawsuit? Is it going forward? I think so. Would you? Let's let's this seriously now. Choking on cheese. Would you? If they said this woman has just won $135 million from yeah. Netflix, she wins the lawsuit. Yeah. And she's in love with you. Yeah, perfect. This Would you date great. her? Yes. For that 135 mil? Yes. Choking on some cheese. I'd date her without Choking 135 mil. I just want someone to love me. <laughs> She'll love you. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. She will love you. I can't get people you. to call me back. Like, that bitch <laughs> called me 40,000 times. I'd be like, thank God. She likes me. No, but seriously. And I don't have to text her back all the time. Just every once in a while is enough for her. But she just got to be like forty thousand emails, and I then I text her and just say you want to do some butt stuff, and she's like, oh, 
and gets real dirty with me by the canal. Like I don't I I I like baby reindeer lady. I don't know. I'm into her. Choking on cheese. Oh, yeah. Choking on cheese. I got to get the fuck out of here. I can't work three hours. What are we doing here? This is insane. Okay, let me save this raw, and I'll edit it later when we can just do a goodbye real quick. Oh, yeah. Choking on See, cheese. I came up with that. That's good, isn't it? A little raccoon choking on cheese. Choke on it. Choking on <laughs> chili cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, goodbye. Ready? Mm -hmm. How do you spell Kansans? Yo, it's uh, Kansas Yo. with an A and an S. Yeah, yeah add, just add the A and the S to Kansas, and then you have Kansas. A and an A and S, right? Mm. Yeah, anus mm. without okay. the U. Okay, Kansas, and then K Kansas ends. Oh, it doesn't Kansans. work. Kansas No, that doesn't work either. Kansas, uh, K-A-N-S-S-A-N-S. That works. Thank you very yeah, much, no, Kansas. Right. Trying raccoons. To, trying to choking on cheese. There's no second S. Little raccoons. There's an S at the end. Choking on the Kansans. cheese. Kansans. Choking oh, on the cheese. Be, if it's yeah, plural, Kansans yeah. with AT&T. I'm trying to figure out if their porn doesn't choking work. Choking on cheese. Because they have AT&T or what's on going it. on. Because Lazo can't get Pornhub, and this is a problem. You guys are going to have to come over to my house. I just went over. <laughs> We're getting really close to the, you guys having to come over. It would not be the first time that I go to your house and watch Pornhub. I know. It wouldn't. The, <laughs> actually, the first time you ever came to a place that I lived, my old apartment in KCK, the you saw the bag of pantyhose, and you said, what's this? And I said, don't touch it. And you were like, oh, my God, is that a bag of pantyhose hanging on the door? And I said, yeah, mm -hmm. they need to be washed. And he and said, you You're weird. And I said, You got to see this video. He put them on. I didn't put them on. He put them on. I said, You got to see... watch this video. I said, You got to find this video. <laughs> he I said, They got to be watched. Then he looked at me and he said, Not He's for you. He's making up stuff that doesn't <laughs> need to be that. made up. Not for you. I showed you him. You dirty bum boy. I showed him an That's amazing. What he said. I was like, Whatever. German... And he said, Watch this video and feel my legs. You won't know the difference. Don't look me in the eye. Watch the video. Touch my legs. That's what he said. I showed him a very nice, new at the time, German pantyhose porno video. And then we and he saw said, a raccoon. And he stared at it for a and few what seconds. Was it doing? Choking on a piece of cheese. <laughs> choking on a piece of cheese. <laughs> so look at that raccoon over there. Choking, choking on, on cheese. cheese. Choking now. <laughs> and then you said, I don't ah. want to be here anymore. And you left. Right. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Which is what I'm going to do right thought now. thought we were going to hang out. Again, I thought we were going to hang out. No, we just I'm got good. the TV in here to work. We were going to watch show, court TV together. Stay positive, kids. Karen. What? Her name's Karen. That's what I said. Oh, I thought you said Carrie. I don't remember. Whatever I thought I read over there. Good show, John Bonet. That's what I want to hear. Snow Cone's reading the John Bonet book right now. Which book is it, Snow Cone? What's the name of it? I got to go it's listen to the last, last episode okay. of... Business Wars. It's uh, the which one are you listening to again? College football. Oh, you college don't football. Like college football. You guys like business wars? That's good. I'll listen to it. I hate the guy who does it. What's it about? Guy, I yeah, know that what guy the war kind of annoys me too. Oh, yeah, what's, uh, what's the war about? Lindsey so Lindsey Graham, the host. Yeah, and then all the like, they're like all the different voices like, he tries to do. At, and they do it for Nike and Reebok or whatever ones like Adidas. Yeah. I listen to, but they're like, and then the Pac-12 commissioner called the Big Twelve. Commissioner. Hey, uh, hey, John. Steve. I'm like, yeah. shut the fuck What's up. going on, Steve? Hey, Steve. Yeah, the different voices. And he's like, and then the Fox Sports guy said, I think, Steve, that might be a little too high right. for the price like, dude, tag. No, shut the fuck up. Right. It's just the only thing I like about that guy is his name's Lindsey Graham, and his website is notthatlindseygram.com. Oh, right. So I like well, I that. I think he does a good job with the information. And stuff. Yeah, it's just, the voices drive it's me crazy, cheesy, too. Though. He does a cheesy thing. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Steve. Yeah, hey, it's Rick here. Like, dude, I know. Uh, and that's a good impression, actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's totally unnecessary. And it's like, he's like, these conversations, well, not... Right, right. Accurate. 
were well researched. I'm like, oh really? The Fox Sports Guy. Was right, saying, right. That's gonna be a little bit too much. Okay, bye bye now. That's right, what he said. right. That's exactly what he said. I'm. I just think why do you, why even add that stuff? You right, don't you need don't it. Mm-hmm. Is this the like, book, Snowcone? Do the like, why do it? Uh, no, it's by the lead investigator. It says inside the Ramsey murder, but right, it, this I'll see, see it. it. This no, one's called this John was, Bonet. Okay, so I found this here. I'll show you. It's on Hoopla. Um, is it available right now, or did you take it? I got one. I don't know if I have more. You mother. You mother of a horse. Well, now you can listen on Spotify. Uh, I can't listen on Spotify. Remember? Uh, by Donald Davis. It's he's the he was the. Oh, that's guy. my that's my great uncle. He was the lead. In, wait, no, Steve Thomas was the lead. Oh investigator. yeah, that he wrote no it sense. with Don Davis. Don Davis, I guess. Steve was. Thomas. Steve Thomas. John Bonet. Inside the oh, that's right. Well, don't look at the one you just had up. That's called Inside the Ramsey Murder Investigation. Yeah. It's just the different cover is what I saw. I got it. Hoopla, baby. Fuck yeah. Who needs Spotify? Yeah, it's pretty good. Fuck off. So the way I found it was I when I was on Spotify looking at those audiobooks. It had, uh, I was just browsing. It's only them. got four stars. I was browsing them, and it said, like, like must-reads for each genre. It's like for fiction, it had, like, you know, Harry Potter or Stephen King. Like, right. They, like classic books like you have to have read, you know, yeah. if you yeah. like that genre. And for true crime, the number one one was, like, it was, like, uh, what was Patton Oswalt's wife? I'll be oh, gone in yeah, the I dark. Can't remember, but yeah, the, the, um, the, it was the killer beside me, the yeah. Bundy one, and then it was John. Like it was these huge books you'd heard of. I think yeah. Mindhunter was in there, and then yeah, the John Bonet one. So, but I started. It's fucking good, man. It's really good. Okay. I really liked that Casey Anthony one. I, what speed? Yeah, that do you, was great. What speed do you listen at? I just do normal. Oh, I do one point two. Eight, I believe. Yeah, I don't. One point three. It fucks me up if I maybe. I, it doesn't sound fast at one point three. One and a half sounds like it's been sped up a little bit. About one point two eight, one point three. Okay. It sounds normal, maybe but I'll you're getting that. through it faster. When you turn it back to one, it just sounds like they're talking so slow. Yeah, I don't know if it was if he's the lead investigator, but he's definitely not involved in the case. However, when you're reading it, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a warning. He's a cop. And he, oh shit, DJ Uncle Jesse, thank you. That was fucking awesome. Um, he's a cop. And it's written in the year 2000s when it came out. I had to look that up. Oh. Because I'm like, man, today's climate, like, the way he talks is like very, these fucking liberal sissy boys and, you know, uh, okay. and uh, Boulder. Okay, do they talk about the guy? It's very, it's very cop perspective. Do they talk he, about the he guy? He talks so much shit on the DA, and he's like, well, the DA's in bed with the defenders. They don't help us at all, and the cops out here are trying their best. Okay, and so wait, so what is, who does he think did it? He thinks Patsy did it. Oh. I haven't mm. got to that part yet, but he says, like in the prologue, he's like, I think it was Patsy. Okay. And, well, now I'm like, that seems like an old theory. I feel like that's been disproven now. Well, regardless of who you think it is or isn't. It gets a good story. It's, it's, he tells the, the facts of the case very right, well, from right. what I can tell. It's like just it. it's just very cop perspective, and it's, it's and it's, it's, and, it's like, and it's dated. They'd rather you know these liberal hotshot lawyers sitting in their big offices don't want to get their hands dirty like us cops do. It's like all right, dude. Right. That's why I was like, what year did this come out? And yeah, it was two thousand. Sucking on a chili dog. Sucking on a chili dog. Sucking on a chili, chili dog. Sucking on a chili, chili, chili dog. dog. Can we play that for Twitch? Sucking on. Chili dogs. Sucking on chili dog. Sucking on a chili dog. Chili dog. Sucking on a chili dog. Sucking on a chili dog. Sucking on a chili dog. Good job. Sucking on a chili dog. 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 Chili dog. Sucking on a chili dog. So good. Sucking on a dog. Sucking on a chili dog. Chili. Sucking on a chili dog. I love when it cuts to the iPad of the lyrics. Yep. Sucking on a dog. Sucking on a chili dog. Sucking on. Sucking on. Sucking on chili dog. Sucking on a dog, sucking on a chili dog. All our Twitch viewers sucking tonight are singing chili, this. Sucking on a dog, sucking on, sucking on a chili dog. What would you do? It wasn't over, was it? it I, I clicked on YouTube, but it was a YouTube short, so like a minute. Uh, wah, 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 wah. Sucking on a 
chili dog. Oh, I need to call Bomb Pop back. Raid targets. Let's see if any of them are alive. Sticks, if you are watching this, or Poncho, I need to know how to check to see which um, people are alive. So I just, I'm going to the Discord, and I just search raid targets. So somehow that's easiest to me. But then I have to type in the name, or, you know, copy and paste it, and then go to the Twitch and see it. And they're never fucking alive. It's always the drum guy. So I, I need to, like, I need a, a, a way to get, you know, to be faster about that. Yeah, the ones that are in these raid targets you sent me sticks, which I greatly appreciate. Only one that's ever alive. <coughs> oh, god damn, Arkburn. Uh, is the drum guy, which, you know, he's cool. Yeah, I saw, and see, I got a notification today that Kit Bond guy went live. And I was like, oh. About, what, who? Kit Bond? It was, what's his name? Is it Kit Bond? The senator? No, what I just, what did I type? Uh, Kit Boga. Yeah, 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 Kit Boga. He's the guy that does, you've seen him before, Swim. He's the one that prank calls the uh, scammers. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that always wears the yeah, aviators. Yeah, the squirrel, the squirrel guy? Always has the aviators, and he has the voice thing. He's he's great. Yeah, let's find some hot chicks doing nothing. They're on Pornhub. Well, depends where you live. Right here on my laptop. Sucking on. Okay, so when I click Sticks' name, let's see. I'll follow you on your account and be like, uh, Sure. Okay, so I click on your name, Sticks. Um, ban, block, and report, right? How the hell do I find your follower list? I, mean, I guess we could go to Travel Danielle, since... Oh, she is. Okay, we're definitely doing that. And we'll go in there and call her Brooke. Who are we going to get for the podcast? None of these are any good. Did you find contact info for hey, that dude, author? Hey, dude, one second. Did you find contact info for that author? You're going to leave in a second? Okay, I'm finishing up right now, buddy. Let me type this in, and I'll be done. Did that work? Okay. All right, guys. <clears throat> you, hey, Jack, you want to say bye to Twitch? Sure. Okay, one second. Let's get those bomb pops on the chat. Use this microphone. You can use this microphone if you need to. See my camera is still. Yep. Here you go, dude. Hi. Hi, Jack. Oh, looks like he's. We're on a commercial. Oh, it looks like it already raided. Something happened.
buddy? I'd love to. Oh, you know what? I'm going to see if the um, my AirPods work. I tried to fix them. Excuse me, turn that back on. <laughs> 